Level up! Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? How are we doing today? Hope we're all doing well. Blaze, Monarch, A Little, Samuel, Z Sad, James, IVG, Monster King. What's up, y'all? How you doing? Yo, Dricos, thank you so much for the prime sub. Blaze, James, no relation to you at all, huh? Bronze 3 signing up today. Let's go. Welcome to Jorbit, Gracie. Happy Blazing James brought you to the fold. Hope you're doing well today. We're about to go ahead and open up the queue. What's up, Scraplin? 8th place. Good to see you again, man. What's up, Dark251 Bursts? A little. How you doing? Junior Coffee God. Sparksy. Great to see you back. Solanum. What's up, dude? Great to see you all here. Let's go ahead and open up the queue to start the day. And also, Mello makes beats over on YouTube. What's up, man? Glad to see you over on YouTube if you want to join up. Uh, my name is Jorby. I do, or I've done professional Rocket League commentary for eight years. RLCS for seven years. I do this little thing on my channel called Blue vs. Orange, which are mixed rank lobbies that you queue up for and I cast over. That sounds like your jam. All ranks, regions, and platforms are welcome to play, and we'd love to have you. You can click the pin link in YouTube chat, or you type in exclamation point Discord in Twitch chat. You can join up in Jorbit, follow the instructions in the Start Here channel, figure out how to get registered and how to queue up. But we will go ahead and open up the queue here in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and the queue is live.
What's up, Hot Turks? Good to see you. Monarch, you're enjoying the game? Good. Glad to hear it. It's just a game. Sparksy, what's up? Oh, wait, I already said hi to you. <laughs> you almost missed it? Well, don't miss it. You know when I start talking that that cue could go live at any moment. We have our first six players. It'll be Scrapplin', Not, KO7, Junior Coffee, Chiss, and Iron Victory. What's up, Duck Boy Lars? Good to see you back. Vidar, good to see you. All right, we have all six players ready to go. So I will go ahead and create the lobby. Lobby's up. Get on in here. What's up, y'all? The cam works again. Thank God. Thank God for that. Sanity got fourth again. Yeah, the way it does it is interesting. I may do a day uh, next week where... I let everyone queue up and then I randomize the queue. We got all six players in the lobby ready to go. On blue, we've got Scraplin, GC2, KO7, Champ1, but Scraplin is putting the ball in the back of the net. Going up high for this one. No one there to challenge him. Junior Coffee tried to get there in time, but it is knocked away. And an easy goal to start the day for Scraplin. But we do got KO7 Champ 1, Scraplin GC2, and not Champ 1. On the other side, we've got Decisive Banana, GC1, Iron Victory, or IVG, GC1, and Coffee, Diamond 3. KO7. Not too long ago was Diamond 3, but has updated his profile to reflect a champ one. And he'll get a, or he'll get one goal. And I just realized we're at 20 minutes. Hang on a second. I got to reset that. Uh, I casted some of Fear's Madness games yesterday, which were pretty fun. Those will be up on YouTube tomorrow. So you can check those out. We will go ahead and just reset that timer there. And I'll remember to do that before the next game. Uh, but the Madness tournament actually ended up being pretty interesting. I watched a few games off the games that I casted. And I got to say that I was fairly entertained throughout. Like, I watched Wavy versus Frosty. That was entertaining right up until Frosty forfeited. We casted Atomic versus... Uh, who was it? Who did he play? Uh, Lu uh, Luis P. Atomic versus, versus Luis P. And Luis P ended up forfeiting with about six minutes left. But then we had a really awesome series, which was Toxic versus Shadi from Saudi Arabia. Uh, those of you who watch any amount of 1v1 might be more familiar with Toxic than you are Shadi. But Shadi had played in Salt Mine as well. Uh, so that was a matchup we had seen before if you have watched 1v1 games. And that went the entire that went the distance. That went all 20 minutes. It was a one goal game. It was absolutely crazy. If you missed it, I highly recommend that you wait until tomorrow morning when it's uploaded on my YouTube channel and check out check out both of them honestly. Toxic versus Shady. That was such a good catch from Decisive Banana. But saved. Oh, he's gotta be upset about that one. Everyone dreams of the perfect catch on the reset like that and the dribble it forward, but he was blocked. Couldn't get it. Big boom down the field. And Decisive Banana will pick up the first goal for the Orange team. You're like, okay, long games today. Oh, yeah, no, we're not doing 3v3 20 minutes. That'd be a little insane. Uh, 
Madness, I believe, is going on today at some point, if it's not already underway. I know uh, one of the first matchups was Jorius versus Nas, so I'm very interested to watch that back soon. Because I thought that format would end up everyone just tilting out after about eight minutes, but that's not really what ended up happening. I mean, some matches definitely ended that way. Some players just really don't like 1v1, but wanted to try out the format anyway. And I know that a lot of players ended up not participating because uh, a lot of them are in Copenhagen or are about to travel to Copenhagen. But I would love to see that format done again because I think it was more interesting than I gave it credit for. Scrapplin going hard up the wall. Won't be able to get to it. Decisive Banana cuts him off. Coffee with the midfield boost. See what he can do with it. IVG lurking around the other side. That one goal from Decisive Banana being about all they can get. Yo, what's up, Froyo? Oh, yeah, no. No, no 20-minute lobby. We are all good there. That might go in. Not, I think, wisely waiting to pull back on that play. And decisive banana breathing down your neck. Currently holding down the midfield line. Currently can't get the touch into a threatening position. A whiff from blue may give him the opening. Decisive banana sitting on the back wall. Won't get the pass. Not downfield. Might have a shot. And he does slip it through, but off target. Looks like decisive banana would have had that save. If not, had thrown it a little closer on the angle. That's a decent pass, though, over to his teammate. No connection, despite the demo from KO7. KO7 is on an improvement arc right now. Even from a couple of weeks ago, as a Diamond 3 watching him play, and even earlier this week, you saw him be uncomfortable in some situations and high-pressure situations, but especially on offense now, really thinking hard about softer touches, utilizing space, but also what other things he can do off ball, going for demos on offense, making sure he's not overextending. Here he does get close to Scraplin. Heavy touch from, or really a light touch, really a heavy launch from Decisive Banana. What's up, Nullcorp? Good to see you, dude. Orange got about 20 seconds. IVG, Banana, and Coffee have been stuffed all game. x -trolled. great to see you back, man. Not got the catch. Scraplin keeps the ball. Orange need to get the breakout. A heavy touch and all blue going back. Nobody going to challenge. Coffee, no redirect, but the rebound is in for IVG. Three seconds remain. And all three from Orange work together here. Decisive Banana with the stall touch. Coffee. Threatening KO7 into the weak touch, and IVG bounces it right off of Knott's car into the back of the net. It looked like Orange were done there. Good initial push down from Decisive Banana, and that shot from IVG also had to be on target. Good to see you, Mimi King. What's up, man? Oh, Orange want this at zero. A flick over one. He's going for the bump. Whoa! Decisive Banana slips through the blue defense and he peels himself a nice zero second victory. What a way to start the day on the bump on Scrapplin' GG's. Give it up for all six players in the lobby. <laughs> Love the aggression there at the end from orange placing their chips on the table with the bet all right blue stop us blue did not stop them all right popping our next players in the queue uh clip master did not collect the clips that i just took from that one so that's why they're not up there next one will be Our next six players are The Boss, Vidar, Crucio, Powerful Lord, Spark, and Soul. I got all six players ready to go. I'll get that lobby created. Give me a moment.
Hey, Mimi, in lieu of how er, of what happened earlier this week, let's keep uh let's keep the bozos and the L's from the L spams from you. Let's keep those to a minimum today, Mimi, okay? I appreciate it, man. Just to clarify, it's not anything that you did. I'm just saying in general. All right. We got our next lobby up. Go ahead and get into the lobby. Give me one second here. I'm typing away. Just trying to change the music. There we go. Yeah, it was good. I just want a different DMV playlist. A lot of vocals screw up my uh, my brain, so less vocals the better. And I didn't change the 20 minutes again. I remember. I swear I'll remember to change that next time. I should just type this in. All right. We only got five in here right now, actually, so. You got a DMB playlist with 913 songs? Nice. Uh, we are waiting on Soul. No, wait. Yeah, uh, it's Lincoln Spark. And then Soul is the last person I'm waiting for. So as soon as they're in, we'll go. Oh, we got a name server for this one. Very nice. You're all good, soul. No worries over here. All right, we got all six players. Let's go ahead and play. On blue. We have Crucio, champ two. Vidar GC1 and the boss GC1. On the other side, orange, we've got Spark, Lincoln Spark GC3, Powerful Lord GC2, and Solanum Gold 3. So Solanum had played before, hangs out in chat a lot as well. Happy to see them queuing up again here as our resident gold. Maybe a tough one for orange as they have a similar roster makeup as blue with two GCs. But they have the higher GCs. They have GC2 and GC3. While there's only two GC1s on the blue side. So it comes down to how well can Crucio play as that third man. Or not, not as third man, but how well can Crucio fit into the rotation. It's the better way to say that. Because Orange, they're definitely going to have to make sure they can uh, work their way with Soul. As much as Soul has to work on being in the rotation, Lincoln Spark and uh, his teammate, Powerful Lord, will also have to work on not getting in his uh, the gold's way as well. Either one will trip you up. That was a good initial save, and Solanum up for it, jumping for the pass there. You know, as a gold, you definitely don't expect anyone to do anything on the wall. So you understand going for the challenge immediately. Crucio gets it back. Bounces high for Powerful Lord. But a good catch. Powerful Lord still sitting there on the rebound. Nice job from the boss. Followed the play well. Got right on top of the challenge. His car was bigger than his uh, the other car. Another clear here. Ooh, Solanum. I like that you're going for it, though. I, no need to apologize, buddy. You got to have your expectations set correctly when you're gold. And you know what? Kick your teammate out of the way. Get there. Hey, you're already looking, you're already looking like the diamonds in ranked out there. Here's Vidar. And Vidar's gone. Lincoln Spark chucked it across to the opposite side. 
I think it is a lot harder to tell a gold to let the play develop because at least this level of play is something that they aren't used to seeing. So, so that felt targeted. Oh, no, not really targeted. BVO diamonds hit different, but I've just all the complaints I've ever seen from diamonds complaining about complaining about their games, which is the same as pretty much any rank complaining about their games. Powerful Lord, nice soft touch. We saw Solana go in front, got the first challenge, allow Powerful Lord to come in. Spark gets the challenge as well. Solana also looks for the bumps as well. Plats defend worse than bronzes. Uh, Plats overthink everything. That's the problem. Once you get to plat, you start trying more things. Right? You start trying more mechs. You start trying to be faster. So you start making more mistakes. And oh no, Crucio couldn't put it in. But the boss works his way around. It was too light of a touch. Spark and powerful lord move the ball. Well, Duck boy Lars, it depends on the 50 50. Powerful Lord, back over to Solanum, and the gold three is gonna put it in. There's four GCs and a champ in here, but the gold three's putting it on the board. Look at the right shot slot right here from Solanum. That's what I'm talking about. Powerful Lord set him up, but the shot still had to be accurate, and he slotted it. Even gets there on the challenge. Powerful Lord coming in and slips it underneath. I oh, love seeing that. We've now had a silver. We haven't had a bronze score yet, but perhaps the bronze that is in queue today might be able to get one. No pressure. No pressure. That ball knocked up back to the opposite side. And it slips underneath Solanum. Couldn't get it. And just a little too much oof on that one. Now let's take a look at Solanum on this play. He's coming up and, yep, just to jump a little too early. But again, seeing blue near the ball, you're not really sure if blue's got to play there as a gold, right? Based on other touches he's, he's seen. So Solanum's just thinking, I got to go fast. I got I to gotta go challenge that ball. And that's not a bad thought to have. It's just execution, which all golds have to work on. Execution is the hardest thing to do in Rocket League. The boss Thanks. try to get blue on the right foot here. Vidar's got a free touch. Reset. Still dribbling. Powerful Lord followed him well enough. Spark next up. Oh, Solanum. Oh, Crucio. No. That's not one you want to miss. Lincoln Spark, not the bouncer. Blue had a chance to end the game right there. But the crossbar is Crucio's worst enemy. Oh, what a steal there from Lincoln Spark. Going downfield, crawling under his skin and finding ourselves into overtime, our first overtime of the day. Powerful Lord, challenged immediately from the boss. Saw him try to use his flip, but he was way underneath the ball. And that's also the challenge with resets, is that, sure, you can get a reset completely underneath the ball, but then actually flipping anywhere useful becomes impossible. This comes back to blue for Crucio. The boss will let the play go forward. Challenge back out to Vidar, and it's off target. Vidar checked Lincoln Spark, but Lincoln Spark moves through to the boss now in damage control mode. Good job from the boss. You kept the touch close. You bought yourself a challenge and your team just that extra second they needed to come back. Now Crucio's got some revenge, but Solanum turns around and can jump. The boss had to go over him. Vidar coming in and the shot is off target. Solanum happy to get the clear out right down the middle of the field. And while Solanum didn't get the touch, he did force the boss to go high. And he also demoed the midfielder there. But Lincoln Spark. That's another situation. You had space. Find a way to keep the ball close. And Powerful Lord almost scored right there. But the gold is holding his own. In a lobby full of higher ranking players. 
Powerful Lord challenged easily off the corner. Lincoln Spark happy to pop it. Powerful Lord was still coming back. Solanum. The gold going for the big aerial. He's got contact. Lincoln Spark jumping for it, but Vidar had to put it up high to the boss. There to meet him was Powerful Lord. As Crucio pushes it across the corner into the box. But Blue's still looking for a way in. Uh-oh. Everyone's jumped. Solanum gets kicked back while he's midair. And I'm really impressed with Solanum. He's got the right idea of when to go, of where to be sitting in the play. It truly is a pure executional thing for him. And Powerful Lord executes with easy go here. I don't even know what that sentence means, but Powerful Lord picks up the game-winning goal. Give it up for all six players in the lobby. The gold three takes the dub. Let's pop the next six players in the queue and we'll set up the next lobby and I will get rid of the 20 minute timer. You got the goal, Solanum. Good stuff, man. You look pretty good out there. Keep it up. All right, we changed the match back to five minutes. I got you, Z-Sad. No worries. Replacing Z-Sad will be Monarch. Once the rebalance happens, let me have Monarch hit that ready button. I see a little Mimi, Bob, and Monster King have hit the ready button. You guys do not have to hit it now. Hey, Solano. I'm really glad to hear that, man. Thank you for queuing up and making our day as well. All right, Monarch has hit the ready button. Mr. Lowell 5000 has hit the ready button. And we are ready to go. Oh, it says get ready to get team bumped on Monarch. That's crazy. All right, we have another NA versus EU lobby. Three EU on orange, three NA on blue. But because it's all US East and all Europe, we're going to coin flip. Heads is NA, tails is Europe. What's it going to be? It is heads. It will be on North America servers. But EU players, hold out hope for you are undefeated on NA servers. Thanks. In blue versus orange. Lobby's up. Let's go. Used to be a Snow Day Diamond 3 champ one back in the day. And had to regrind and play. Well, you got the right idea. Your brain is in the right place. That's what I saw on the pitch, Solanum. So the only thing that... Uh, I saw that you really needed to work on was execution, and that just comes with training and practice. So I think you're at a you're at a great point, man. I'm excited to see your continued improvement. Just waiting for all six players, and then we'll be ready to go. We're just missing Monster King. Once we get Monster King, we'll be good. If you score an open goal, that equals SSL. In these lobbies, that's for sure. You can't take crossplay to be on, got you. Wow, 
What you say? He said, I wake up in cold sweats just thinking about open nets. Bro's about to miss like three straight open nets in this game. Now, if you guys weren't here last time, Monarch, Monarch got a little upset in the last game that he played in Blue versus Orange because he kept getting bumped by his own team. And, you know, getting bumped by your own team doesn't feel good no matter who you are. So it, but Monarch, it's always been a battle of him versus his tilt. Who will win this time? So that's a sleep paralysis demon. Open nets. That's crazy. Uh, Monster King is in the middle of rebooting his game. He couldn't tick his crossplay to be on. So as soon as he's rebooted uh, and into the lobby, we'll be good to go. I'm proud of you, Mimi King. Thank you for showing restraint. That's a skill. We got all six players in the lobby. Let's get ready to go. On blue, Mr. Lowell 5000, Champ 3, Monarch, Diamond 2, and a little Champ 2. On the other side, we've got Mimi King, Diamond 1, Bob, GC1, and Monster King, Champ 1. So that's who we got in the lobby. So getting bumped by your own team is an initiation into, into said team. See, now that's a great way to look at it. <laughs> Mr. Lowell 5000 really trying to... Whoa, Monarch, I saw that. He's trying to give him a little chip for that comment. Now, Blue already starting from behind as far as, as far as that goes. If I can write the mental, they'll be good to go. But all seems to be okay. Whoa. Not sure what happened there. I think maybe we just lost the ball. Mr. Lowell 5000 trying to move forward. It's a good 50 from Mimi King. Going forward on it. Almost forced it in off the wall. And nothing really developing just yet. At least follow up touches, a double commit. Doesn't really hurt Orange too much, although a double commit again. Lincoln coming forward, didn't expect his teammate to cut back in on that play. A little sitting on the midfield line. Shot right underneath the defender. But Bob hops up and takes it, no problem. Mr. Lowell 5000 was deep back. He's got his corner boosts. And Orange tried to pick him off. There was a hole there. No one from Orange was ready for it. One stayed down. It was a good first touch. I like that touch in the corner. He bounced it away from the defender. Not too awkward for Orange. It was awkward for Monster King. He was just trying to find a way down. And a little chippy in midfield play. Bob just missing that touch. And the shot goes right through. Monster King couldn't get there on the 50. His third man was expecting him to get it, I believe. Who was it back? It was uh, Bob. No, not Bob. I wish it would tell me what the name tag was there. Mimi. It was Mimi. Yeah, Mimi expecting a challenge there. He ends up going forward. I would say an aggressive turn forward for Mimi regardless. Can't afford to uh, keep his car sideways. Wait for that play to develop. Monarch flying in. No contact. They get contact on a car. Mimi King gets a runaway ball. A little's on the far side, but got the save anyway. I thought he was getting dunked on the play. That's a hard place to save that ball. Usually the attacker can easily squeeze that ball in if he's got momentum. But a little got behind the ball just enough. Allowed him to make the save. That's a good save. Oh, no, Monster King, what happened? What happened to you? We're going way back into the corner here. Now the midfield is completely open. And, oh, no, just back up. Just back up. You don't even have to do anything there. You can literally just reverse and then let that ball bounce into you. A single hop maybe if it bounces again. But that was uh, a little panicky there from Monster King. He ends up turning. The turning took him away from the ball. Definitely a panic decision with that shot coming forward. It's one of those, oh god, oh god, oh god, it's coming towards me. 
Happens, happens to me many times. Oh, that is the wrong way. But hey, easy back pass. Nice bump from Monster King. Two commit from Blue. They're holding on to their two goal lead with ease, but Orange are starting to threaten in front of the box. A little, his touch gets away from him. You see Mimi King playing deep back here. No one getting those follow-ups. What's up, Dwarf Bud? How you doing, man? Great to see you. Mr. Lowell back to a little, and he won't dunk him here. A little save is becoming more and more valuable as time goes on. That was the best chance Orange had on the net. Bob could not generate an opportunity there. He gets challenged, knocked away. Monarch will score. And he gets a little help from his Orange buddies. With 55 seconds remaining, this one is all blues to lose. Yo, Cody Dash, what's up, man? Welcome to Jorbit. Happy to have you here. You got your 1600 back in twos? Congratulations, man. That's awesome. Yo, Stompa, thank you so much on the six month streak for the tier one sub. Much appreciated, man. Happy to see you back. Orange, another try. They just can't get through. They get those free touches, but Blue have covered up every opportunity they've gotten in the thirds. You misclicked again for six months straight. Keep on misclicking, stop. Or actually, don't, don't misclick if you don't mean to click. A little said, why do I have Playmaker? Luigi wins by doing nothing. I wouldn't say you've done nothing. It's really just been a textbook game for Blue. Solid rotations, light on the double commits, and saves when you needed to make them. A clean win for the blue side. Give it up for all six players in the lobby. Thanks. And I know someone redeemed Manfield Knights. So we're going to move to Manfield Knight for a couple of games. Back from the goat emergency, you take care of goats, Z said. That's cool. I hope your goat's okay. All right, moving over to Manfield Knight. I have four people ready for this lobby. I've got. An APAC player, Night Fury. What's up, Night Fury? Happy to have you here with us. I got five people ready to go. I'm just waiting on... Oh, nope, there it is. Dark 251 Burst has hit the ready button. Let's create the lobby. Lobby's up. Y'all get on in here. I believe Night Fury, that makes our third APAC player to ever play in Blue versus Orange, which is three more than I ever expected to join, so that's pretty cool. Other than that, we got two EU and then one US West, two US East, so all across the spectrum here. You're cool with one of the players on the number one APAC team. Nice, x -trolled. Oh, my God. Night Fury on that three hundo ping. But I'm happy you're queuing up anyway. Good luck with 300. I don't even know if that's even playable. All right. Let's see how it goes. Give Night Fury a nice warm welcome in the Jorbit chat. Always happy to have them here. Auturks, GC1, and Night Fury Champ 2 with Puff and Diamond 3. That ball slips right through the defense, and Dark 251 will pick up the first goal of the game. Dark 251 comes in at Champ 3, and he launches that. That's a perfect shot. Chucky Brown, Champ 1, and Vince, Champ 3. 
We've had Vince play before. Happy to see you queuing back up with us. Say so 300 is barely playable. Well, Vince will barely score this next goal. It's puffing heavy touch, gets away from him, tries to catch back up to it. Night Fury stuck like glue on the wall. And there ain't, uh, there ain't no counter to that adhesive as the ball just goes right into the net on the bounce. Uh, yeah, Cody, you just queue, and then you can check your position with either exclamation point QP, or you can look at the next up channel underneath the Q channel in Discord. Right through one, puffin. Got the touch over to Night Fury. Nice challenge from Vince. Popped up back to Dark 251, but taken away by Autarx. Night Fury sitting on the back as well. Autarx on the front line will not be trifled with. He moves the ball the whole way downfield and even puts the shot on target before it's turned away by Vince. Autarx killed to the corner. Dark 251 with a full tank of boost, giving Orange another chance. And the free shot's coming. Chucky Brown back to Vince. Can't make contact. Good idea from Chucky Brown. You still had two defenders in net. You pulled both of them out on that play, Vince. Just couldn't find a way to put it on target, even to stretch across for it. It's a hard one to get to at that speed. Autarx lets it drop. Opts to not challenge the ball. Night Fury holding the ball in the third for now. Night Fury waiting for this as Autarx got the pop up. He'll challenge, at least get the ball locked in the corner. Back pass from Dark 251. Good vision overall from Orange. Dictating the pace all game so far. The space ID, that's tough. You got to just catch it. So that was a huge punish from Autarx on Chucky Brown. I still think it's a good idea for Chucky Brown to get the catch, but he's got to catch it. That's the only problem. The execution fails, and Autarx is there to punish. Gets the first goal for the blue side. Great touch by Autarx, by the way. Brown said he's not great. I'm not asking you to be great. Just saying what went wrong. I, for one, think sometimes for regular players, it can be hard to know if you made the right decision or if you just messed up. And to me, you have the right decision. You just messed up, which is not a problem and not a, not a knock against you. Execution's the hardest thing in this game. Do I learn more about Rocket League by observing lower ranked players after uh, casting pros for so long? Well, I wouldn't say that I learn more about Rocket League, but I definitely learn more about the overall skill level and the skill distribution in the player base, at least for people that come by and queue up. Every rank is a little bit better than I thought they, than, than I thought they were. Uh, and within each rank, the skill variance is still pretty pretty high in each rank i think it differs in each tier i wouldn't say that the gap is the exact same in each tier but considering how difficult the game is at an execution level i am impressed by how good some of these plats and diamonds that have come in and played off i mean even at the the champ level now is a little deceptive since you know, the ranks got reset, and now cha the champion level is much different than it used to be. A little higher level than it used to be. Not by much, but it's enough to, to know a discernible difference. But really, when you're watching uh, this level of play, really, it's, it's a lot of fundamentals. You know, you can't really use the same principles that you use when you, when you watch or cast a pro game because they think can play the game differently than you do here. So when it comes to, like, you, you hear me repeat a lot of things during blue versus orange. Now, one thing in particular is approaching slowly, attacking quickly. So just kind of, kind of fundamental philosoph philosophical type things.
25 seconds left for Blue to get down the field. Orange have held firm. And Night Fury hasn't done too bad, I'd say, for 300 ping. I can barely perceive what 300 ping is like. I've played on high ping before, but nothing like that. High ball, drops straight down in front of the box. Great save from Night Fury. No shot came from Dark 251 Burst. And it rolls up the wall. Blue will have to go the distance in the air, and they will not. GG's. Give it up for all six players in the lobby. Thanks for playing, Night Fury. I hope you enjoyed yourself. For the longest time, I forgot people just played this game for fun. Yeah, but you know, a lot of regular players still put a lot of expectations on themselves. Uh, and I, I know a lot of my players definitely get frustrated when they feel like they don't perform well. Not like for too long, but it is kind of like a defense mechanism to come into chat afterwards and be like, I'm trash, GG's. You know, so I think a lot of players do care, but obviously when you go higher up and there's different thing there are different things at stake because you might be trying to actually get good enough at the game to go pro if you are in 18 1900 you know much different much, a different mentality because the stakes are different it's not just ranked it's not uh, not just ranked anymore right, we have all six players ready to go let's create the lobby Lobby's up. Your brother got his driver's license. You're proud of him? Nice. Very nice. Congratulations to your brother. When you first joined, you were just glad you didn't throw the game for your higher rated team. And hey, no one's going no one's going to knock you if that happens. Because it happens. Remember, if you don't see the info, just restart Discord. Bambi says, unable to connect, just try to spam it. All right, just waiting for uh, Bambi, and then once Bambi's in, we'll be good to go. All right, everyone hop out of this lobby. We're going to generate new lobby information really quick, and we'll try one more time for Bambi. Oh, 
Hey, I'm glad to hear that a little. Thank you for sharing, man. All right, new lobby's up. Let's try this again. Let's see if we can get everyone in here. I see Curtis, Captain Claps, and Box by Drops. That's who we wanted to see, I believe. Level up. Yep, we got eight plays here. We got all six players ready to go. And we are underway. Yo, Barnacles, thank you so much for the prime sub, dude. I appreciate that. So on blue, we have King Curtis. Uh, King Curtis would be Ang, Champ 2, Captain Collapse, Champ 1, and 8th place, Champ 1. On orange, you got Z-Sad, Champ 3, Anthropillar, Champ 3, and Box by Drops, Plat 1, in the battle bus. Don't whip it! No one's whiffed it just yet. And a demo screens the observer off. Captain Claps passes it to Z Sad, and that's not the player he wanted to pass it to, but it's the player he got. He rings, rings himself around on it, and a heavy touch. And Captain Claps just doing a little too much on that ball, a little panicky there as he hits it right in front of his box. Just got to be careful. Z Sad will happily take that first goal. Blue versus orange. That's right, Asperdo. What's up, dude? Good to see you. King Curtis is there. Off the wall. And into the net. Off the post. Captain Claps will get some redemption after he passed it to the other team. This time he receives a pass from his own team. It comes up perfectly on the read. Nobody was up there to challenge him. He bounces it off the post. Poor Zsad sitting on the goal line. You see why I say sitting on the goal line is not the best place to sit because if he's sitting behind the goal line, guess what? He doesn't own goal. No, and I. that's another... We were talking about differences between pro play and normal people play. That's one of the differences where I wouldn't say to pros, get behind the goal line. Z-Sad rolls this one in. But for you wonderful people in chat playing ranked every day, you're going to find most opportunities are easiest to save as third man when you're behind the goal line. Z-Sad gets another goal here, racing in for the third total goal on, day, on the day. Anthropillar, no backboard available for him. But Orange have left the back door a little open. Anthropillar gets back just before the intruders can break in. The blue are staked out beyond the midfield line. Captain Collapse making it awkward, and Orange almost made it easy there. Eighth place. Challenged immediately. Captain Claps is rotated. That's a good booming touch. He's going to follow it. No one's there to meet him. Almost scores. Just needs to get his nose on that ball. He turned down a little too much. He gets his nose on that. He'll get the height that he's looking for instead of hitting it right into the player. Captain Claps into the corner. Gets stolen out by Zsat. King Curtis jumping around waiting for this play to come to him. Will eventually get a touch. He got space, but not a lot of boost. Good management on the 50 there. He jumped as soon as that defender or attacker came in. Orange break out downfield. And two commit. Orange take out some boost. Blue aren't getting the touches that they want. And that comes out for free. Here's box by drops. Bouncer off the post. He's had flourishing, but can't get a touch. His teammate can't get the goal. And is knocked downfield. 
Oh, no, he's battle bussing to his team. No problem. Easy back pass. And a good challenge again to the opposite side. Orange almost picking up some insurance. Eighth place. Fallen box by drop. Easy. Second 50. He wins it. But won't get that boost. It clears out to the midfield. Captain Claps wasn't ready for it. And box by drop slips it right by him. On the plat one is managing just fine on his team. His rotations have been solid. And his touches have not put his team in complete danger. And some have even put some pressure on the blue net. About a minute remains for Blue. Did they just catch Orange out? No. Great touch out to the corner. Box by drops out of his own net, picking up that save. It's a beautiful touch. Anthropilla down, field, light touch, falling down. Taken away. Blue slowly starting to run out of time. King Curtis flipping it through. Captain Claps will get the game tying goal. Orange. A little on top of each other here as it swings across. Box by drops and Z sad. Both get clapped by their own wall. And then Captain Claps comes in and gives them the final applause. <laughs> Through the midfield, blue breakout. Eight place gets a shot. Too weak. He ended up flipping a little late. Didn't get any of the power he was hoping for. Blew her back on defense. Knight, that actually works perfect. Back to the midfield. High touch again. Captain Claps cuts rotation. Eight place now. Eight place made that work. As difficult as Captain Claps made that. King Curtis barely gets this touch. Orange are threatening for the game winning goal at zero seconds. They're not going to get it. Captain Claps gets there in time and pinches it the whole way downfield, rolling. Orange decide to keep it up. Seeing King Curtis around, you don't want that going into your net. We got overtime. Ooh, a pair of misses from Orange almost result in a blue win off the bat. Box by drops in the middle of the rotation. He's got the touch. Anthro Pillar going hard off the corner. Ooh, another heavy touch from Z. Sad. What he needs, King Curtis. Huge shot from the King. You don't know him on a first name basis. It's your majesty to King Curtis. Gets a nice light touch to the top shelf off the bar and in and blue win the game. GG's. Give it up for all six players in the lobby. Popping the next six players in the queue. You just want to say that King Curtis is so good in these games? Yeah, I think each game we've seen King Curtis in, he's looked pretty decent for sure. We have our next six players. So if you see the active match channel, go ahead and hit that ready button for me. We've got Chips, Exonym, Gracie Mary, Apex, Tim2504, and Ijid J. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, this has to be one of the most unique lobbies we've ever had in blue versus orange. Let's go ahead and get the lobby set up. All right. And once everyone gets in here, we'll be good to go. So on blue, we've got Tim. Tim's played in blue versus orange a bunch, and he is gold too. But on the other side, we've got Gracie Mary, bronze three. Now, if you told me that two times in two weeks we'd have bronzes play, I'd have said you were crazy. I'd have said one would have been a miracle. Bronze is a more exclusive tier than SSL. But here we have 
Uh, thanks to James and Blaze. I believe... Uh, I don't think you guys said it outright, but I think you hinted at it. Is this your sister, Blaze? But either way, we've got a bronze! <laughs> it is your guys' sister. Nice. Well, Gracie Mary, I appreciate you coming in to play some games with us. I hope you have a good time. Uh, we're just waiting on chips, and then as soon as chips is in, we'll be ready to go. No channel point predictions because it's too much for me to manage, Chucky. Yo, Baby Duck over on YouTube. What's up, dude? How you doing? Happy to see you here. Apex, that's true, Apex. You've played with both bronzes now. All right, here we go. Chips is here. Let's play some games. The debut of our second bronze ever to play in blue versus orange. Gracie Mary, bronze three. Let's do it. Now Apex, he did play with our last bronze that had played in the game. I'm doing good, baby duck. Thank you for asking. Welcome to Jorbit. I hope you enjoy your time here. It's your J high off the back wall. Play it down. Chips lobber. No touch there. Apex denies him and moves downfield through the mid. Got the air dribble off the wall. Oh, he got so close. But yes, so far. What a save. Pinched off of the nose. I believe that was Exonim on the save. Now, elsewhere, other than the gold and the bronze, Tim Guth are gold too. We got Exonim, Diamond 2, and then Chips GC3. Gracie Mary, bronze three. Let's get on that bronze camp. We'll get right in on the challenge. Nice challenge, the turn on it. And using ball cam, something our last bronze wasn't doing. Oh, look, using the small pads, some of y'all could learn. Staying in the rotation, almost bumping chips on the play. Itch and Jay could at least read it. And that was good movement. The bronze warping the play around them. And Gracie couldn't get there in time. Exit him will score first. Nice catch. The stutter step. You knew you had a little bit of space. And then after you beat him, Gracie had to run back. No chance to get there in time. Nice job from Exit him. Moving that ball across. That's a good goal. Apex looking for Ijid J and just misses as it's flung up high off the ceiling and cleared back over to the opposite side. Whoa! No one from Orange gets there. Chips gets a free goal. And let's see how exactly this one happened. Apex rushing into the corner, loses the 50 hard, and the spawn from Ijid J, he got demoed. He's not going to make it back in time. Gracie Mary just hoping that she can push the ball across or hopefully get a touch there. Only so much you can do racing across. Orange, pick up a goal. Apex with Ijid J running the front line. Apex got that first touch. Ijid J just sits downfield. It's the threat of the bump, that was enough. And I don't know what happened there. I think I completely lagged. That was interesting. All right. Blue get the lead. Tim Goop looking for boosts. There's lots of little small pads you can use, and that shot almost goes in. Gracie Mary holding down the back line. And just trying to get back into position. Itch and Jank will help out by a little time. Let's go to Arabian Pogger. Good to see you. Tim Goo got the bouncer, and the shot goes out to the opposite side. Itch and Jay steals the boost, moving quickly. Does a little bit more damage on the blue side. Gracie Mary low underneath, but a solid touch from the bronze three. Getting across it. Look at oh, a little bit of control there as well. Apex got the touch once, twice, and Chips is there thrice for blue. Move the ball down the field. And a nice popper on the midfield line, Itch and Jay losing control of the ball. Oh my God, Gracie Mary just picking up some of these challenges. Are we sure she's bronze three? 
Looking like Yeti Boy out there. Got another touch. Agent J off the corner and actually wins the touch clean. You can't blame anybody for not expecting that one to work. Less than two minutes to go. Blue pick up their third goal. Chips rips the ball on target. The rest of Orange needed some time to get back. They just needed one more touch from Apex, but it bounced away from him. He was definitely reading that bounce differently. It came out. He tried to recorrect. James said he's sitting here with his sister half coaching. The live coaching is work. I can imagine. She's like, all right, go, 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 go. No, wait. No, turn around, turn around. Amazing. Exit him way downfield. And Orange are going to go. Apex is going to score. And Orange are getting ever closer to that game tying goal. It comes off of Apex here, but it's Gracie Mary setting it up. The bronze sets up the whole play. And Gracie Mary is a fixture in this rotation. Bumping blue off the ball. Getting the pass out. That is a hefty 26 points. Coming from Gracie Mary. Challenge coming in. Ninja J tried for the reset pop. Could not put real pressure. Actually, that's how you create real pressure. You give Apex the goal. And if you can't beat them, you delete them. Not just once, but twice. And then the goals are easy. The bronze is making 50s. Ninja J is making scraps. Apex making goals. Apex going again to the sky. Ooh, light touch. No reset for him. A little cheeky there. Chips going high up. We'll need Ninja J to support for the orange side. They've tied it up. Two quick goals for them. Ninja J got aggressive on the challenges. Now another flick from Apex. Nice stop from Chips. Lands. Great recovery. Love that. And also Gracie Mary jumped and got that. That was, that was a mini aerial there from Gracie. You know, James could be live coaching all he wants, but as far as the actual mechanics of execution go, that's all Gracie. Now up high. Ooh, turn it up a little too much there. Learning to fly, no doubt. Another save. Apex got it. And it comes across. Is it Jay? Nice scoop off the ceiling. Back to Apex. And there's Tim Goo, the gold, to make the stop. Oh, I, I'm, I'm really impressed with both the gold and the bronze in this lobby. Tim Goo's obviously played a couple of times, but wow. We are on. We, we're on our way to overtime right now. Chips gets a free touch. And with ranks all across the spectrum, here goes Apex. Airborne. Ninja J took. I cannot believe he just did that. I cannot believe he just did that. Well, here's the chance. We go to overtime. I think Apex may have had the goal, but now it's a loose ball. Apex sitting back and playing well enough. Got the challenge, popping it up. Gracie on this side of the rotation and just couldn't find it. That's fine. Get back in the rotation. Apex. Bouncer high and away. Ija J got the touch up, but he's got to protect the ball. Gracie desperately trying to get back into position. A little awkward, and the bouncer from Chips. He gave him the full Pringles can on this goal. And GG's to everyone in the lobby. Ija J tried to cover up that ball, but it slips underneath everybody. And that will do it. GG's. Give it up for all six players. Give it up for the bronze. Give it up for the gold. Thank you so much for playing, Gracie. Tim, and you as well. Awesome stuff. He said incinerate chips. Bruh. All right. Let's talk about that 50 game from our bronze three, yeah? <laughs> Friggin' awesome. All right. Yo, GG's, Gracie. Thanks for playing. I hope you had a good time. Yo, Mr. Kringley over on YouTube. How you doing? 
What match is next, Baby Duck? Uh, everyone queues up in Discord. You can join Discord by clicking the pinned comment on YouTube chat. Follow the instructions in the Start Here channel. And then you can figure out how to get registered and how to get queued up. We got lots of people that want to play. Uh, but we'd be happy to have you. We do these streams pretty often. We got MD, Dusk, Rowlet, Absolute, K-Flip ready to go. I need Lil Mello. Once Lil Mello hits the ready button, we'll be good to go. All right. Thank you, Lil Mello. Appreciate it. Let's go ahead and set the lobby up. Lobby's up. Let's go. You're in the queue. Let's go, baby duck. Happy to hear it. Thanks for joining up, man. I hope you have a good time. Shout out to all of you guys watching over on YouTube, coming in and out, whether it's the VOD or live. Uh, if you're watching over on Twitch, be sure to open up another tab. Go over to my YouTube page, Jorby PLS. Click on the live tab and give the video ye old like click. And I appreciate that. Thank you. All right, we're waiting on K Flip and then uh, just Lil Mello. Once Lil Mello's in, we're good to go. Hey, thank you for that sub, baby duck. I appreciate that. Hey, dude, you didn't expect them to be as much of an issue as they were? Yeah, man. Bronze 3 got out there and impressed. All right, Mello has joined the lobby. Beautiful. Let's get started. On blue, Dusk, Champ 1, Jad, uh, Diamond 2, and Scarlet Solid, Champ 1. On the other side, we've got MD, Champ 3, K-Flip, Champ 1, and Mello. Diamond Zoo, Mello, coming over from YouTube. Welcome. Happy to have you here in the lobby with us. First time in Blue versus Orange. Give him that ye old nice Jordan welcome. Trill, is this playing with chat? Well, I'm not playing with chat. I'm rather having all of chat queue up. And then I cast over it. As the first goal is going to be... <laughs> oh! Oh, as the first goal of the game. Not going to happen. Should have happened. Everyone gets in each other's way on blue. How do you join? You join by typing in exclamation point discord if you're in Twitch chat or clicking the pinned comment in YouTube chat. Uh, if you're on YouTube, follow all the instructions in the start here channel. And then uh, as Dust puts the first ball in the back of the net. But... That'll tell you how to get queued up and how to register. You see K-Flip typed in exclamation point Discord, so just click that link. And then you'll be able to get into Discord. Again, follow all the instructions in the Start Here channel. That will answer all the questions that you have. Or rather, most of them. Not all of them. As that ball pops up. But welcome to Jorbin. Happy to have you here. Mello playing apparently on an old gen Xbox. MD slips right through and he's got the first goal for Orange. Having a blue on this play. We're not going to know. Solano says you're playing on a Steam Deck. Did I try playing on Steam Deck? 
And unless you unless you uncap the frame rate and have it plugged in, the input delay is just incredible. Uh, he said old gen Xbox, so I'm guessing it's uh, probably either an Xbox One or an Xbox Series S, maybe? No, S is not old gen, though, despite it being the lesser one. Yeah, I know you play on Switch, Puffin. We have had basically every single platform play as well, which I think is cool. Hey, Mello picks up their first blue versus orange goal right off the rip here. Gets their second goal is all a blue, missed that clear, and Mello will punish with a nice bouncer, gets it underneath the shot, and that's a GG. Well, a GG at least for that play. Oh, Steam Deck definitely feels better than a Switch. Has anyone played from the TV? Yeah, I've played on a TV before. Unless you have a one of those new TVs, though, that have the refresh rate to meet it. Rock League just feels bad. It's just so fast. Uh, Dusk, he ain't feeling bad, though. He gets a uh, goal. Scarlet solid. Nice touch. MD stuck on the goal line. K-Flip was still rotating back, and no touch. He thought that was high, but it was not. That's in as well. Oof. Well, when it rains, it pours. Baby Doug here at KBM main. Nice. Well, K-Flip gets the perfect kickoff. And I think even if you did have flip, I don't I don't think Dust gets there in time. Clear comes back out to Mello. Mello. Drive for or drove forward on that play, but backing up into it, K-Flip. Got the touch out. Scarlet Solid is there. Follow-up challenge decent as well. Blue with a high touch. Uh Dust can't go. K-Flip back over to the side wall. Orange still looking for a way in. Insurance put them in a pretty solid spot. Blue might tie it up with the go-ahead touchdown here. And they do get it on. Dusk with the trebuchet rock throw from his own box. Scarlet solid up a huge distraction. Everyone looking mellow. Good effort. But couldn't find the touch. It's off the bar and in. Orange tie it up. And he says, what is this game? It's been a weird one for sure. Jad deleted on the play. Uh, we do welcome Jad back. I think it's been a bit since we last saw you queue up, man. Happy to see you here again. MD slips around one. Still going. Got the 50 off the ramp. And that was looking like a free ball. Mello tried to come up the challenge. Uh, Dust takes the shot. Score is solid. Next up, pops it high. MD, touch out to the corner. Uh, Dusk comes in and completely misses. It's going to put Blue back. And oh. Now we'll go back out over to the opposite side. What's up, Decibel? Good to see you, dude. Welcome back. It's cleared downfield. MD was feathering. Oh, Mello might get a second goal or an assist. Dropper. K flips. Got it. Mello sets him up. And K flip kicks him down. Nice Ooh. touch from Mello. Made it really awkward for Jad to do anything with the ball. Orange will take a late lead here. And in Mello's debut game, he's really creating value for his team. A goal and an assist now for him. K flip, two assists with two goals. He's having himself quite the game. 30 seconds remaining. He skips it up high to MD. Good power on the touch. They couldn't clear it. Orange are coming, and that was huge bait. Orange were so far back on the play. They double committed. Scarlet Solid, though, is taking his sweet time to get back to the ball. Goes for the pass. Uh, dust from the midfield. Low off the ramp. He's got the shot. He missed it. Oh, ah. 
He says, my bad, my bad, my bad, but it's not over. You can get it downfield. That was a tight angle. You can't fault him too much for it, but that will be a G. G. Give it up for all six players. Popping our next players in the queue. Good job, K Flip. You looked really good, my dude. Happy to have you back in these games queuing with us. All right, next up we got Blaze, Lug, Checker, Scope Killer, Devexium, and Erebon Speds. Go ahead and hit that ready button for me, please, and thank you. Uh, I am not going to do the deep voice today, Arabian Pogger. My voice is tired, so I'm just trying to take it a little easy. I got one, two, three, four, five, six players ready to go. I'm setting up the lobby now. Rolling back to my new favorite map. All right, lobby's up. Yeah, that's what two goals, two assists, and a couple of saves will do for you, K-Flip. You played well, man. That was fun, Mello. I'm glad you had fun, dude. Welcome to Jorbit. Hope we see you around. Feel free to continue hanging out. Feel free to re if you want. Happy to have you here. Thanks. Blaze says he's going Mako this game, and he's going to play better. Blaze in the Mako. So Blaze said the Mako, and I thought of the Mass Effect ground vehicle. For those of you that have played Mass Effect, that's what I thought. I was like, wait, they have the Mako in-game? And now I kind of want the Mako as a Rocket League car. Why isn't the Mako a Rocket League car? Where's our, where's our Mass Effect crossover? We have the Warthog from Halo. Surely we could do it. All right, everyone, please leave the lobby and check your cross-platform really quick. Please and thank you. I don't care if you think you have it enabled, please leave and check. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You want the Need for Speed Most Wanted M3 GTR on a Dominus hitbox? Yeah, I, I'm surprised that we haven't done something with like Need for Speed, or we did. Didn't they do something with Need for Speed once? Or am I thinking of a different game? All right, I believe it was. Thank you. I believe it was Checker who did not have crossplay enabled. Uh, and it's doing that bug where he can't select it, so he's rebooting his game really quick. When did that bug start happening? That was happening before this patch, too. It must have been the patch before last. They did Fast and Furious. That's the one I was thinking of. Yeah, like, Fast and Furious, right? That makes sense. But, like, I'm surprised there's not more, like, game crossover stuff. Like, how have we not done something with Trackmania? Trackmania, Forza, Need for Speed... Uh, there's a couple others too. A couple other popular ones. Burnout. Well, Burnout's kind of been, Burnout's not dead. It just hasn't, I'm surprised no one's like tried to revive Burnout. I loved Burnout, dude. All 
All right, yeah, Luke, you should be good. Just get in here. Burnout 3 was awesome. Time walk. You're my guy, dude. Burnout 3, goaded. Burnout Revenge was cool. Camera FOV went crazy. I noticed that'll happen sometimes if your uh, computer is registering input from your controller and your KBM at the same time, and it'll just change your sensitivity settings on the fly. I've had that happen to me before. You just unplug your controller and reconnect it, and it fixes it. All right, we're just waiting for uh, Luke Fishies, I believe, to get into the lobby, and then we're going to go. Well, they did do a Mario and Luigi crossover, but it's only available on Switch. So I imagine if they did a Mario Kart crossover, it'd only be available to Switch players, which I imagine is not a large part of the Rocket League player base, so I don't know if they would do it. All right, we got all six players in the lobby. Let's go. On blue. We got Blaze, champ one. Checker, champ one. And Luke Fishy's champ one. So a full champ one ranked team here on blue. On the other side, Scape Killer, Diamond one. Devexium, champ two. And Erebon Speds, champ three. So almost a full champion lobby with a speckling of diamond blaze feeling fully confident in this mako and happy to see blaze back queuing some games get the read holding on to his flip do i remember not a llama i played uh the beta for smite 2 with him oh really nk2 you go to college with him that's cool i do remember llama i'm excited to play again tonight um yeah, I, I'm. it was a lot of fun last week, and I've been looking forward to doing it all week again. In my free time, I've been doing basically nothing but playing Smite. So it's, it's, it's got me really, Smite 2's just got me really hyped. I'm really excited for it. That's cool, though. Also, uh, tomorrow, guys, I've been thinking about it. Checker 101. You know what? He should start playing chess because he's just constantly finding ways to beat his opposition. He kings his checker once more. He's teaching you the basics. It's the fundamentals. Skip the black over the red, and then it'll take care of the rest. You got it. Whoa, that one skips away. Kings his checker. No, when you get a checker to the other side of the board... Uh, you say king me. And that ball, wow. Wow. Blaze jumps up for it, but it's taken away. How much to cast a Chiss versus Scrapplin best of seven? I'll think about it. It's a good demo, and it goes back to the opposite side. Blue having some trouble getting out of their own half. Blaze will try here. Okay, I like the soft touch. Yes, good. Orange or flat. Checkered. Way to shuffle it up above him. Blaze, not a ton of boost, but feathers himself downfield. Good demo from Devexium taking out the second man. Blaze with the bouncer. Blue hold on to this lead. They might add to it, but it's off the bar. Checker. His challenge knocked away. Blaze. Maybe jump it a little early there. I actually think. Well, it's working out. Orange aren't getting the touch. Never mind. It doesn't matter what I think. If it works, it works. Less than two minutes to go. Orange looking for a way in. Won't be off that touch. Orange a little off on this. 
Yeah, no, checker, checkers is not a difficult game. Very simple. The rules of the rules of checkers are extremely simple. Here's checker. We got the challenge. Blaze sitting back as third man, wisely staying back. Old Blaze just jumps forward and challenges that. New Blaze is using his brain. You love seeing it. He's just trying to recover. Look at that. See, Esperto explained it in like three sentences. And sc Scape Killer. Scope Killer, excuse me. I don't know why I call I always want to call him Scape. But Scope Killer fires this one down on the rifle, and he's got himself a goal for Orange. And all tied up. The blue were having some struggles early on on getting the clears out. Fishies underneath. Vexium. Good initial challenge. Ooh, got to be careful though. Light touch from Scope Killer. Doesn't have a lot of boost here. But just flipping in front, he gets the challenge. Blaze, bouncer shot. I didn't have a ton of heat on it. It was a little scary. Erebon Sped's almost overshot the save. Luke Fishies puts it down. Awkward balls here. Blaze up for it again. Luke Fishies can't really go anywhere. Waiting for the play to develop. Now he sees a loose ball and get forward with a heavy touch. Scope killer back again. Bounced high off the ramp. Pass. No pass. He double hopped. Unfortunate. He tried for the quick pass there, but if Luke Fishies just holds on to his dodge for a half second longer, lets his car fall next to the ball, and then side flips, he'll get that touch. Something to note. Next time you're training those touches off the back wall. Blaze gets another 50, and we've got another overtime what is that that's our fourth overtime Devexium slaps that ball down to start and blue would love to get set up here in the midfield and orange just win it orange off the bar please he's helpless checkers trying to give him some help and he does add a little bit more scope kill it a little too high off the board rebound it's too high and wide Devexium couldn't find the target and to avoid Luke Fish, he's on the play. Underneath another shot! Erebon sped speeds through the blue half and gives Orange the game victory. GG's. Give it up for all six players in the lobby. <laughs> Pop the next players in the queue now. Yo, Leroy on a 30 stream streak. That is crazy. Whew. The next six players are ready. Whew. Or no, they're not ready, but they should be hitting ready. We got Asda's Milk, Whew. Decibel, Scraplin, KO7, Iron Victory, and Not all ready to go. Lobby's up. Don't whip it! Bruh. All right. Once everyone's in here, we'll get going. Bruh. 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 All right, once we got everyone here, we're good to go. Bruh. We got all six players. Let's go ahead and play. On Bruh. Bruh. Scraplin GC. Bruh. Scraplin and Decibel GC2. Bruh. As does Milk Plat2. Bruh. On the other side. Bruh. KO7 Don't champ one. It. IVG GC one. And not champ two. 
This should be an interesting lobby, as is Milk. Saying that he just recently got up to plat two. Was plat one a little earlier, was gold before that. Decibel, that challenge goes out to the opposite side. Scraplin takes control, Bruh. and as does Milk, the plat will score. So with GCs and champs all in the lobby, it's the plat picking this one up. Bruh. As does Milk recognizes the space, he's not Don't uncomfortable, and goes in to punish. Batman's signal is up, and Batman has arrived. As does Milk, quick in the rotation there. Scraplin, read that just fine. Try to get to that read quickly, but KO7 is there. Decibel, boomer down, field, just missing the net. Scraplin just missing the net. As does Milk getting in there on the challenge. Decibel up to, wow, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I saw As does Milk just going back, but it looked like he was gonna go for it. But it wasn't, he was just floating back. But from Scrap's point of view, it definitely looked like something was going to happen. Well, Mimi King, you've already ranked up Bruh. before. And I'm pretty sure I've said that about you already. But it is a difficult oh, thing oh, oh, to oh, 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 continue oh, oh. ranking up in Rocket League. That's a beautiful shot. K07. Knocking Blue out on this touch. Bruh. Not making it awkward for Asda's Milk. Not a bad challenge from Asda's Milk. It's just an unfortunate bounce for Blue as it comes out perfectly to KO7. You see Scraplin try to reach to get that ball, and he can't hit, he can't hit the mark. What's up, Synthex at 1000? Good to see you again, man. IVG with the clear. It's over Knott's head. Decibel through to Scraplin, waiting for it. Scraplin ain't waiting no more. Dude absolutely crushed this ball. Disintegration. Bang. Two to one now for the blue side. IVG, nice touch. One more. There you go. No problem. There you go. Line up that first touch. You always got to boost across it, but not as far across as you think. And that's not the easiest read because it's got some drop to it as it came off the crossbar. That, that's, a, that's a more difficult read than I think IVG made it look. Because it bounced down. He's still got to put it on target. Very Ooh. easy to just have that car rip off your nose, out to the side, no goal. Not picks up another one here. And Orange will double up. Or, or not is the one to pick it up off the corner. No one's there on the wall. Blue tie each other up. And I should have been looking at Blue. Not sure why nobody was on the wall there. I think everyone was catching up. But with Scraplin and Decibel on your team, at least one of those two should be good for wall coverage. Oh, Wifty Wifty in the midfield turns into nothing. Good save from KO7. Fortunately for him, the wall play wasn't working out well for him. Not has to play across. He gets 50 out. Scraplin waiting aggressively. KO7 trying to force him off his line. He even wins a 50 on top of it. As does Milk is there, though. As does Milk. A little more thoughtful today in his rotation. I don't see him stacking himself up on his teammates nearly as often. He will go early at that ball, though. And I mean, the most difficult part, again, as a plat, when you're playing with GCs on your team, is knowing when the GC's actually done on the ball, because they can do a lot in the air with it, more than you might be used to. Decibel off the ceiling. Oh, did you try to pogo? Or did you just drop it? From there, it looked like you dropped it. Also, I love how yesterday during the Fear Madness games. Uh-oh, he missed it. Why? Oh, and he bumped him. KO7, huge save. Scrapplin was sitting too far underneath. He couldn't build up any momentum. Nice flip. KO7 going back. Decibel moving forward. Back with Scrapplin. Pushing no, it off the side it. wall. 
Decibel moving off the corner. Scraplin's got the corner boost. He's starved, and you know it. I would have demoed KO7 there. Bruh. If I was Scrap, I'd have turned there. But that's just me. I'm way too aggro. See, he played it nice and safe. And look, he's got himself the ball. No boost, though. But still showing you that you don't need that much boost to keep playing the ball. Don't whip it! Pop over there. I'm not going to let it go. Tried to bump Decibel. Oh, that Bruh. one comes downfield. Good steal from Scrapper. Don't whip it! As does Milk. Next up in the rotation, 40 seconds left. Blue are losing Bruh. the fight that they had early on on offense. Scrapplin' in front of it, got the challenge. Decibel's next up, not tried to read the dunk. He's not gonna get it. Decibel full Bruh. count off the ceiling. And it's cleared out to the opposite side. You see Blue starting to bunch up together as does Milk was lurking close to Scraplin. Orange get a free ball. IVG immediately challenged and as does Milk just trying to get a hold of it. IVG keeps it going. Here comes Orange and KO7 couldn't put it on target. Skipped off of a blue car, but they're hanging on to possession, wasting that time. As does Milk barely gets the clear. KO7 having to turn tail and run. Scraplin making him hurt. Scraplin with the pain! Four seconds left on the clock. And three to three, we may go to another overtime. Hard touch, as does Milk not gonna get there. And we do indeed have what, our fifth overtime of the day. As does Milk, the Platt could score, but it's taken away. Scrap has his five-year-old niece watching. He's got the pressure. Trying to impress the children. As does Milk. No contact, IVG in the area. Maybe making him squirm a little bit. Both Bruh. players bump into each other into the corner. As does Milk and Decibel. Keep tying each other up, gotta be careful. Ball hit again, Scraplin with the cat. Oh, as does Don't Milk. Whip it. You just settle down. It's okay. It's okay. Your teammate's there. He's got control. You don't have to go. Scraplin with a big clear down the field. And the go-ahead goal for Decibel. Bruh. That's a GG. Great go-ahead touch. Orange trying to rotate back. You see IVG waiting for it, but good power from Decibel on the play, and that's going to do it. GG's. Give it up for all six players in the lobby. Popping our next six players in the queue. We have our, our next six players in the lobby. Got Powerful Lords, Scythers, The Boss, and Spark are ready to go. I need Junior Coffee and Vidar. Coffee needs to move down? Okay. Last call for Vidar. You're surprised you scored the first goal. It was good rotation, man. You did well. All right, no Vidar. We'll move him down. Replacing those two will be James and Godkiller Mank. Once you guys see the rebalance, you know the drill. Yep, Mighty Lion, that's the thing about ranking up is that holding on to the rank is the next hurdle. Getting into the rank should be celebrated, 
but holding it should also be celebrated because the expectation should be that you will fall back down. All right, we got all six players ready to go. Lobby's up. Let's play some games. Oh, and seven not. That's okay. You got ten more to go before you match Blaze. Spark says BRB. We're also waiting on... All right, we got Spark Knight here. We're waiting on Vadizen. And once he's in, we'll be good to go. Check on him, make sure he's okay. It does usually take him a minute to get in. He did hit the ready button. All right, thank you. Appreciate it, Zen on top. Casting, you just got to keep doing it. It'll feel awkward at first, but it will feel better with practice. All right, what's going on with uh, with Vaddy's in here? And I do it when I first started. Just found every community tournament I could, asked them if they wanted a uh, caster, and then I just casted. Why is everyone quick chat spamming? Because we're waiting on uh, Vaddy's in to get here, which he is here now, and we're good to go. On blue. Powerful Lord, GC2. Saigo, Champ2. And James, Champ2. On the other side, we've got the boss, GC1. Spark, GC3. And Vaddy's in Diamond 1. That ball hit up high. And Spark drives that ball straight down.
comes across and the touch will be knocked down to the side. Touch off the ramp for Saigo and boom it downfield. Uh, so the Spark Knight, I'm not sure if this is your first time playing or not. I don't think it is. But if it is, welcome to Blue versus Orange. Hey, Spark Knight, welcome to the lobby. You pick up the first goal of the game, no problemo. As he swings around full speed, Powerful Lord loses the ball, and he gets a little help from his friends on that. He just bounced it back. Yeah, you just changed your name a lot. Got you, got you. No worries. Nice challenge. Good follow-up from Saigo. Whoa, Vaddy's in. What are you jumping at? Got to be careful. No doubt Vaddy's in feeling a little panicked, like he had to rush back into the lobby. But that's okay. Settle those nerves down. And also, no need to, no need to boost into that either. Vaddy's in just has to let the play develop in the corner. He was in a fine spot in the midfield. Now he's left with nothing. Let's see if Vaddy's in had held on to all of his boosts instead of charging into the corner. Would have had the boost to be able to handle that touch instead. He's got to rotate back, pick up some pads as his team works to get this ball out on the defensive end. The boss forces another challenge. James in the Merc barreling his way through another defender. Nice follow-up touch for Powerful Lord. Flying in his side goat, and he's got the first goal for Blue. Nice work from Powerful Lord, keeping the ball close, beating Spark Knight. That first little pop that he had ended up less of a flick and more of a follow-up touch that he got. Beat Spark to the play. No problemo. So look out, big box over here. I think if James picked up a demo on the back end, I missed it. Nice boom and decent redirect try there from the boss. We'll send another one floating, but saved by Powerful Lord. Rebound still coming in. Here's Spark Knight. Oh, taken away. James flying in, and the Mercs got the touch. And no touch there from James. Means the boss goes flying right by him. Nice job from Spark Knight. Third man has got the challenge. Just under two minutes left to go in the game. Still all tied up. Push down, Spark Knight's got the catch. He gets bumped down the plate. I don't like where that's going as it's pushed out. Saigo. He'll flip it and nothing else gonna develop here. The boss gets through. James got the challenge. Spark Knight wins a huge ball. The boss just has to put it on. Dark. <laughs> oh, so close. And yet so far. Minute 20, still tied up. Nice catch. Got space off the ceiling, forward off the wall. No rebound, Spark Knight will wait. Go back for that touch again. Doesn't quite get it. Vadizen is challenged, denied by Powerful Lord. Demo on the back line. It's a loose one, Saigo got the touch. Off the corner it goes, Spark Knight two touches across. And push down again. Well, this is a little awkward for Orange. The boss had to get down. Spark has to retreat. Powerful Lord came up for the 50. High touch for the boss. Spark Knight moves it downfield. No problemo. Blue cannot hold on to the midfield line to save their life. Every time they get down there, everyone's taking a wide rotation out. Light shot. Light save from James. How many is that from James? He's two? Thought he had like four at that point. But here's another touch. Underneath bouncer save. James does get the savior medal this time. They get yet another OT today. Powerful Lord driving it forward. Psycho. 
finds himself in an interesting spot. You just pass it to Orange. Now they got a chance. Spark Knight with two touches. All three committed from Orange, though. We do indeed go to overtime. I believe our sixth overtime today, right? Spark King. Nothing for him here. The boss off the corner. Saigo waiting on the wall. Not the best clear, but Vadizen's on the ground. Back pass to Spark Knight. The boss rotating deep. It comes up again. High touch for the boss. The boss chasing it down, but didn't get the bounce that he wanted out of it. James easily plays it away. And you got to love how James has played on the back line. Not just three saves, but also a couple of key touches on the back wall. Good boomer down the field as well. Saigo going to chase. Or to really go off that touch. The boss lurking downfield. Not going to find it, though. Low ball, low 50, loose one. Powerful order rotated out to the side. And you had James playing third man. The boss rips this ball back up to Vaddy's and Vaddy's and off the ceiling. Powerful Lord, poor clear. Spark King one, Spark King. No! Yes! He got it! He got it! I thought he might have missed it, but he did not. He'll nail the shot, and that'll be GG's. Give it up for all six players in the lobby, and as always, thank you guys for playing. Let's pop our next six players in the queue. Once you're popped, you'll see the Active Match channel. Go ahead and hit that ready button for me, please, and thank you. All right, we got all six players ready to go. Let's create the lobby. Lobby's up, y'all. Let's go. Hey, James, I'll tell you what, man. You look pretty good in that, Mark. You had a lot of great saves in that game, dude. Good work. Good work. You, Womp, and Dwarf are in VC. Not even on the same team. But that should be fun. Yeah, we do have a couple voice channels. If you guys do want to hop in those whenever Thanks. you're playing, you're more than welcome to. It's never a requirement. And we've got Dwarf Butt. So let's go ahead and play some games. On blue, Mr. Lowell 5000, Champ 3. Monarch, Diamond 2, and Dwarf Butt, GC2. On Orange, Monster King, Champ 1. A Little, Champ 2. And Womp Womp, GC2. So almost completely even, Mr. Low 5000 will pick up the first goal of the game. Monarch skips right by. Beautiful follow-up touch as well. 
to give Mr. Lull the easy goal. How about that, Monarch? One of his better goals in blue versus orange. Or one of his better assists, if you will. Dwarf Butt and Mr. Lowell 5000. Working together here. Mr. Lowell moving quickly. Monarch rotating deep back. Love the soft touch, but okay, it's still working. It's still, oh, almost. Monster King gets there in time. Dwarf Butt putting it down. Womp Womp. Nice light touch to a little, but it's bounced off the post by Dwarf Butt. Oh my God. That was a crazy save. Ripped that one off the post. Challenge in front from Womp Womp. Saved easily. Womp Womp flipping that out. Touched out to the far side. Light pass from Dwarf Butt to Mr. Lowell, and it's cleared back. Monarch will get the free touch, and he will not take the freebie. Awkward position now for Blue. Mr. Lowell on small pads, deep in the corner. He'll get away with that one, and actually get a clean touch through the defense. Womp Womp easily clears it out, though. All of Blue... It looked like they had over-rotated. Mr. Lull 5000 comes through. A demo right through the smoke and a huge shot from a little. A little. Gets a whole lot on this goal. Dwarf but He ends up smoking Mr. Lull 5000. He has no clue when that shot is coming. That's the one time the demo may have deserved you. <laughs> the one time the demo doesn't work out for you. Dwarf Butt losing the 50 here, and Monarch, nice touch back to Mr. Lowell 5000. Oh, I like how Monarch is seeing the pitch right now. And you know what? Mr. Lowell 5000, he's laughing the whole way to the bank on this one. Let's watch it one more time. It's so pretty. Reset. Got the first touch. Hangs on to it and throws it right through. All of Orange have no clue what to do. They got no clue. Dwarf Butt, not gonna get that ball. That's a hard shot off the post. The Monarch swinging wide here, Dwarf Butt. And the flick in, Monarch kills it back to the corner. Blue caught still in this corner. Even Mr. Lowell can't break it out. Nice, immediate challenge. Womp Womp tried for the low 50 to slow down, but he had Blue so clean beat on that play. Came up the challenge immediately. You thought Blue might have had some space on the play. Womp Womp driving the ball through one. Monster King next up. And again, Mr. Lowell 5000 continues to be a nuisance for the orange team. Every time they think they're going to get through him, he ends up winning a 50 and driving the ball back to the orange half. Another demo, this time from Womp Womp. And a risky pass from a little to Womp Womp, but he makes the most of it. A little chasing a little bit. And had he been ready for Womp Womp's pass, that could have been a goal, but he over-rotated. And now he's challenging Mr. Lowell for the ball. And he won't get much for it. A little, we'll wait as it comes down. No catch from a little. Gets a light touch, not much more after it. Really just can't get away. I mean, Blue are just sitting right on top of Orange, daring them to carry it over them, and Orange just haven't been able to do it. Every time they're trying to utilize space, Blue close it down and then dare them to make a move. Dwarf butt bouncer easily turned away. Orange have been playing a lot of defense. And they do have six shots, five of those shots coming from a little. 
can't help but feel the last time they had an opportunity is gone. Monarch will pick up the insurance with 36 seconds remaining. Mr. Lowell gets a touch out, makes it awkward. Monarch bumps Womp Womp out of the way. Dwarf Butt hits Monarch right on the hood. Monarch, though, created the opportunity with the physicality. And Monarch, you know, he's absolutely correct this time. Because he very easily could have saved Dwarf Butt's shot. But it's hard to come out of the net. You don't really know where your teammate's going to shoot it. Your goal is just to get out of the net as fast as possible. So it's not something to really flame yourself for at all. Touch out to the corner from Womp Womp. And Orange's hopes seem to be dwindling very quickly here. But Womp Womp would love to get the dream into reality. That's a nice goal. As he screens across, waits for the pass a little, slaps it off the ceiling, and look at him roll right through it on the flip. Beautiful shot from Womp Womp with 10 seconds remaining. See if it matters. A little's back, and he lost the touch. Blue will pick up insurance. Mr. Lull, 5,000. Gets 4,000 on this play. Monarch slaps it down right into Mr. Lull 5,000. Great touch. Yo, Matt Tattoo, thank you so much for the tier one sub, man. On that three stream streak, I appreciate it, dude. Thank you. Looks like we will be at the end of the game. GG's. Give it up for all six players in the lobby. Popped our next six players for the next lobby. Mimi, Wayfair, Vidar, GWAB, Junior Coffee, and Autrix. One, two, three, four, five, six. We got six players ready. I will create the lobby. We have three Europe, three US East, so we finally get another coin flip. Who's it gonna be? NA heads, tails, EU. Here we go. Is tails. We will play on Europe servers this time. Europe finally win a coin toss. Lobby's up, y'all. Let's go. Oh, never mind. Vidar never hit the ready button. Give me a moment here. Chucky Brown, you're next up. Go ahead and hop on into the active match channel after you after you see the rebalance. Thank you. You're good, Junior Coffee. It's not your fault. Sure, Chucky, I got you. Replacing Chucky Brown will be Dark 251 Burst. Dark 251 Burst, you know the drill.
All right, I'm creating the lobby. It will not be EU anymore. We got four NA. Lobby's up. We got five players in. We're just waiting for Wayfair, and then we go. All right, Lucas has made it. We got all six players in the lobby. Let's go ahead and start the games. On blue, we've got Mimi King, Diamond 1, Dark 251, Burst, Champ 3, and Lucas, Diamond 3. On orange, Otterks, GC1, GWAB, Plat 2. And coffee. Diamond three will be orange, almost scoring the first goal. I think the big thing for blue is really keeping an eye on what Autox is doing. He's definitely going to be the di most difficult player to deal with, being the lone GC in the lobby. And they got two champs, or uh, two diamonds and a champ three. Now, Dark 251 burst. Pretty solid player. So he should be a nice counter. To Auturks, but the low shot from GWAB. It's the Platt scoring first. The Platt 2 popping it in. Auturks is the one to set it up with a tough pass. Mimi King tried to get it out. I think Dark 251 going for that. Ended up maybe putting that one off course. I understand Mimi going for it. But it does end up in the back of the net. Lucas, brand new to blue versus orange. Give him a nice warm welcome into Jorbit. Won't pick up that goal. Third man will stay back. Coffee's bombed the ball downfield for Orange. Alturks decides not to go. Thinking Blue might get that touch. And a missed opportunity on the pinch for Orange. So they all get reset. Mimi King through the midfield. Alturks snipes it away from him. Oh, hard touch. Lucas, he felt that one, jumped for it as quick as he could. Mimi wins another touch. Back to Dark 251, beat by Coffee. And bombed downfield by his teammate. Autorix won't get the goal, and neither will Coffee. Nice save from Mimi King. Coffee with a hard touch out. No contact there from GWAP. Way to go and try and get it. Dark 251, slipping it across. Off the wall, rebound, could have been in. They had the demo. They were smoked off, that was the chance. May not be getting that one back. It pops up high again, cleared out to the left corner of Orange Territory. And the rebound, no power on the shot. GWAB happily takes this ball away off a of one. Nice follow-up touch on the second. Dark 251 burst is there. The rest of Orange were still rotating back. Mimi King forward, and he loses the touch to Otterks flying high. Coffee flying low. He's got him. Perfect landing. Perfect goal. Bruh. Uh, 
Random, random, as the current schedule goes, we do Monday through Friday from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Make sure you guys are in Discord if you just watch. So you can be updated with any schedule updates that may or may not be coming down the pipeline. That's a high ball. Mimi King up for this one, and it's just away from the target. Blue, not many chances in the orange half. They've been struggling to hang on to the ball. They get the clears. Then seems to be a bit of confusion on the follow-ups thereafter. As we see, they're all bunched up with each other right now. Very panicky from Blue. Orange panic right on top of it. And it's contagious. Dark 251 to Lugis. He's got to go for it. Wow. Otter's got the save. I think Lu I thought Lucas was going to chase the ball down, but he let it float towards him. I thought he was going to get 50, and he did not. Did end up getting the shot. It was a good try. Lucas letting that one go. Mimi King letting it fly, and he can't get the follow. Lucas has to push it back to the side. Otzer's had the net covered. Rebound for Dark 251 off the wall. Sitting underneath. g -Wob tries to stretch, but he's loose, and he's out. Otzer's anticipating a shot. Lucas doesn't shoot immediately. Mimi King bumps it back into position. He is in a position. Dark 251 recovers. And what would have been a real messy situation for Blue, they get the reset. Nice touch back to Lugas, but no goal. Mimi King, his touch puts it back field. Lugas, not the touch he wants. Everyone getting bailed out by their teammate here on Blue. And there again, Lugas just got to be more aware. Dark 251 burst had a free. Uh, okay, that's in. Mimi King. Stopping my train of thoughts as that comes out perfectly and Mimi King with the slap. 43 seconds left and they bought themselves a little more time. Let's see what they do with it. Off the ramp. Lugas waits in the midfield seeing Mimi King. And just a heavy turn, and Orange miss an open net. Coffee does not miss the open net, and Orange get their insurance back. And Mimi King left that ball, and he saw Lugas. He wanted to give it to Lugas, but that shows you why the second and third man passes are uncomfortable, to say the least. Lugas was a little off the ball. I don't think he had faith that Mimi King was going to find a way to pass that ball, but he still was kind of hanging around, waiting to see what was going to happen. And then Mimi King commits. He gets a decent hit out to Lugas. Lugas has made an awkward turn. Orange punished. Not much more you have to say. So Lugas in his debut game. I hope you had a good time in the lobby. Hope to see you around. Orange will pick up one goal for the road. Coffee will get that goal. GG's. Give it up for all six players in the lobby. I've been there. I've been there, uh, Lugas. Thank you for queuing up, though, man. Thanks for hanging out. All right. Our next six players are Codster Galaxy, Chucky Brown, eight place. Esperto, ZSAD, and Solanum. Go ahead and hit that ready button. We got one, two, three, four players ready. Five players ready. Six players ready. Beautiful. Lobby's up. Let's keep playing. I thought you played all right, Mimi. 
Um, I think that you were very aggressive on defense. I think you just I think you just need to remember to ask yourself what's going on in front of you before you make decisions on defense. Like if you see teammates in the corner, two teammates in the corner, where should you be? Because you dove that corner a couple times, but that was really the biggest thing I saw. Uh, Burst, I thought you played all right. I don't have any. I don't have anything to give you. I know you need it. I know, but you were the highest rank on your team, so it's harder. Just waiting on one more. Uh, I believe we're just waiting on Chucky Brown. I wish I could remember everything from every moment, but a lot of times I end uh, I end up my brain ends up remembering a couple of things more than everything. So it still might be worth it for you to save the replay after the game is over. Go back, watch your own uh, gameplay, watch it from a teammate's perspective, watch it from your own perspective, and you'll probably find a lot of things you probably could have worked on a little bit better. It says unable to find server. All right, let's create new lobby info. Once I do the rebounds, that'll create new lobby info. And I'll set that up right now. Lobby's up. How did you become him? What do you mean? GG's, ah, Turks. Glad you had fun, man. I am him. Uh, many, many hours of review and practice. As boring as that sounds, that is exactly how it uh, how it works. I appreciate it. Next improvement. Thank you. Always trying to get better at whatever it is I'm doing, whether it be playing, casting, creating, or whatever. Uh, looks like we're just waiting on Chucky Brown, who might still be having issues getting into the lobby. We'll see. My voice is just tired today. Next improvement, we're chilling. It's so much better than working today. Pretty easy to beat, I imagine. All right, we got our next lobby up. We got Astro, champ two, eight place, and Chucky Brown, champ one. On the other side, Solanum gold three not your average gold if uh, you remember watching him earlier today z sat champ three and esperto gc1 almost a double tap to start the game and that's probably the uh most common advanced mechanic you see in these lobbies is the double tap and look at that it's like i it's like i procured it with my voice Here's Z Sad popping it up once. Avoids Chucky Brown flying in. Astros on the ceiling, but the goal's on the floor. Uh, 
Ever consider doing a replay review? Replay review of what? A place looking for Astro. Two touches come down, but knocked out downfield. Nice catch from Chucky Brown. Good freeze on the midfield line. Eight place going underneath, but his shot no good in orange. Looked like they might have gotten out of it, except Chucky Brown stole the ball. No boost available for him to steal. And he'll go deep. Now, see, it's a wide rotation here for Chucky Brown. He's going over to the other corner as well. Doing fine now, sitting wide on the midfield line. The shot turned away. And Chucky Brown forward on the play. Pass is denied. Eight place going up high here. Astro following through. But that follow-up will not be forthcoming. Chucky Brown holding down the back end. Flipping into that ball. And Orange get another try here. Esperto with a lobber. A lot of free touches coming out from both teams. And that's a shot off the bar and in. Esperto like a ball in the cup. Whipped it up to its height and then snapped it right back into the cup. Just like that. Viewer game replays? Uh, I don't think I would do viewer game replays simply because it just means less games. Chucky Brown, nice pass. Astro, nice dunk. That's how you do it. Chucky Brown gets some revenge here on the orange side. Plays it hard. Then off the wall, goes for the straight pass, beating Zsad, who then gets dunked on the play. Nice goal. Like challenge there from Salonum. Orange trying to get back into position, but boom, down the field on the midfield line. Where is the way in? Blue right now, still playing defense simulator. And Solanum dropping it down, but a high ball. Astro going straight up. No contact. Eight place. No, no, no. You're safe. You're safe. Oh, God, that was close. That was a little too close. Bomb down the field again here. Eight place. Nice catch. Zsad steals it. Two demos open up. A little bit of space, but not much. There's nowhere for Orange to go. Orange are happy to play that game. As long as Blue don't score here. Esperto happy. Astro couldn't find a touch. Eight place slings it back to the right side of Orange territory. Esperto going deep. And cleared out back to the midfield line. Zsad misses the catch, forcing Solanum up. I'll tell you what, man, Solanum probably won't be seeing him in gold for very long. An old snow day main working his way up the grinds on the main game mode. But he's been able to sit in the rotation, at least been able to challenge the ball. Zsad. Is forced out by eighth place. Pass in the midfield. No one goes. Astro swung in front of Chucky Brown. Chucky couldn't go initially. As soon as he sees Astro swing out, he decides to go in. Now it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Him versus Z-Set. Left and right. Shifting. Slipping. Astro off the board. And a huge touch. That slowed the ball down. Otherwise, Chucky Brown might have had a huge rebound. Shot coming right back to the orange half. Orange will leave the touch. Esperto tried to leave it low on his bumper. And the bounce comes down off the wall. Saved. Eight place gets there in time, but the shot was denied. And Orange still hang on to their lead. Blue are desperate. Chucky Brown's getting bumped out of the play. Solanum will buy some time for Orange and waste some time for Blue. Whoa, wifty wifty. No hit from Chucky Brown, but Esperto will pick up insurance as Blue a little lost here. Oh, we're DC'd.
Uh, eight place has DC, so give me a second. Let us know what's going on if you're here, eight place. I don't think he's here still. Does not look like it. Eight place, not here right now. So we'll wait for a minute here off the kickoff. We'll see if he loses connection or not. But not sure what happened. He is gone. Eight place, if you're around, let us know. Uh, if 8Place doesn't respond in the next minute or two, we'll go ahead and create a new lobby really quick. Uh, and I'll finish the game out for 8Place with 33 seconds left. 1-2 to two for blue versus orange. Give him another 45 seconds or so. Hope everything's all right with him. I think when I pause it, I don't know if you uh, if you lose connection, if it'll kick you right away. All right, eight place has not said anything. He has not responded, so we're gonna go ahead and leave this lobby. Thirty three seconds, one to two for blue. Give me one second. I'm gonna type in rebalance, guys, and then uh, whatever. The lobby info is, is what the lobby info will be. All right, baby duck. Sorry we couldn't get to you, man. All right, lobby's set back up. He came back last second. All right, let's get A-Place in the new lobby. All right, A-Place has made it. Perfect. I'll go ahead and set the score lines. Everything's reset. We got all six players in. We do. All right, 33 seconds left, starting from the kickoff. Blue. Have a chance to come back here. Eight place was gone for a moment, but he is back. Shot big time from the orange team. Esperto still almost picked up that goal regardless. Z sad lobber denied by Astro. Astro moves through the whole orange team. They double committed on the line. Here he goes around the corner through the bend. Z sad breaks his axles. And takes control of the ball. 10 seconds left for Blue. Esperto puts it back out to the side. Eighth place. Lobber shot. Taken out. Chucky Brown. Bouncer saved on the goal line to end the game. GG's. Good up for all six players. Good try from Blue at the end. Popping the next six players in the queue. You had to get your cat? Hope your cat's all right, man. I totally get it. Trust me. As an owner of two cats. Oh, yeah. Baby duck needed moved out. We had just gotten to him, so hopefully we'll get to you next time, Baby Duck. Replacing Baby Duck will be... Whew. 
Exonym. Tim dropped out. Replacing Tim will be MD. I'll go ahead and rebalance. Let's have you guys hit the ready button. Yo, Franco Chavesa, or Chavasa, excuse me. How you doing, man? Welcome to Jorbit. Happy to have you here. Hope you're having a good day. I need to see MD and Exonym hit the ready button, and then we're good to go. All right. Actually, I need to see everyone hit the ready button. Sorry. Oh, all right. Absolute wants to leave. Just drop. That's all good. Absolute is dropped. Replacing Absolute will be Pony. Pony, it is your time. You know the drill. Once I see you ready, I'll create the lobby. Uh, did Idjit J ever ready? I didn't see his name. I saw X and him hit the ready button. He's fine. All right, no Idjit J, no pony. All right, replacing those two will be Lil Mello and Emilovich. Once you guys see the rebalance, hit that ready button for me and I'll get the lobby created. Hey, Mello, that's all good. I haven't removed you. You're still in the lobby. Uh, if you're here, just hit that ready button or just let me know you're there. I see Emilovich, Ang, MD, Lil Mello, Spicy Salad Kid. Now we're only missing uh, no one because that's X and M and I know he's here. All right, let's go ahead and create the lobby. All right, I'm going to create the lobby and then I'm going to run to the restroom really quick so you guys can hop into the lobby. Uh, and yeah, I'll be back here in just a second. So lobby's up. Be right back. We are back and we are ready to go. Let's go ahead and set the timer back to five minutes. 
And let's get started. Yo, B. Thomas, thank you so much for the Tier 1 sub on a five-month streak. Love seeing that, man. Thank you so much for your support. I appreciate it. On blue. Exit him. Diamond 2. Spicy Salad Kid. Champ 2. And MD, Champ 3. On the other side, King Curtis. Uh, Champ 2. Emilovic, GC1. And Lil Mello, Diamond 1. So an interesting rank split. It's fairly even overall across the board. You do have a high card GC on orange. But close enough in MD on the Champ 3. Asperto in chat, cheering on, spicy salad kid. MD not going to get there. Emilovic going to go deep through the midfield line. Got the reset. Emilovic! My God! Let's watch it one more time. Off the reset. Got the, got the first touch. Feather the boost. Reset the ball right back into the net. No problem. A beautiful progression down the field. Showing those GC1 tactics. He drops it there, King Curtis. Might get another goal here for free. He anticipated the dunk. Emilovic will get the follow up on the rebound, making it two to nothing for the orange side. Spicy Salad Kid, nice job anticipating King Curtis there, but unfortunately, for him, it skipped right back out to the other team. Exit him flipping, but not going to get any contact. All the blue coming back, waiting for orange. Oh my god, what a touch. That was de. Oh, yo, oh, whoa! All right, all right, all right. I was about to say, if that doesn't go in. That would just be a disservice to Lamilovic's touch. That was disgusting. MD gets bumped out of the play as he tried to get it across, and there's another goal for Orange. They're rolling through blue right now. A minute and a half in. No touch on the kickoff. Makes it awkward for MD, who was driving up the wall. Monarch says, Exonym and MD have been looking good today in the private matches that have been going on. Definitely going to need to channel some of that to get this blue squad going. Spicy Salad Kid lobs it downfield. King Curtis will let Emilovic take control. Emilovic is thinking mechs all day. MD says, no way. You're not getting free space again in the air. Nice try. Spicy Salad Kid missing the ball. Mellow patiently waiting. I loved it so much the first time. I had to queue up some more. Uh, you did, Pony. I moved you a couple games down. Spicy salad, kid. Trying to break through this orange line. MD to spicy. Oh, that was so spicy. Level three spicy. Would have been level four if he had nailed the actual touch. But look at this. Dropped it at a negative angle. Oh, my God. Thank you, MD, for closing it down. That's a disgusting angle. It's just what Blue needed to get back on track. But that shot should have been on target from exiting him. Ooh, MD almost kept that hard. Oh, almost. Lost that one. Spicy Salad Kid misses the ball. Boomer downfield for Blue. Ripped by Spicy Salad Kid. Whoa, just missing that touch. Good win from King Curtis. He really has been fairly consistent in these lobbies, hasn't he? Granted, for King Curtis, uh, he's about right in the middle of the rank split in this lobby as a champ, too. So finding that consistency, not saying expected, but definitely not too surprised. Off the ceiling, the backflip takes him out. 
Spicy Salad Kid holding down the back, or the front line, moves through, exit him, tries to cut. He loses to the King. Now he's got control. He's going low, and Spicy Salad Kid knocks it away. Another Savior Medal for him, or rather the first Savior Medal from him. Blue started the clock about a minute and a half, or a minute 15 seconds ago. Have not been able to keep things rolling their way. Emilovic is too lethal. Flying right through the defense. Exit M says his computer is lagging. That is an unfortunate circumstance. Goes right back into the net. A minute three remaining for the blue team. We'll see if they can get it going. Milovic playing it low. No one from Orange is there, ready for it. But the shot, too late. Exonim's got the save. Nice steal from King Curtis. Well, he's been at the forefront of the Orange push since Emilovic in the first minute and a half, hasn't he? MD up high, trying to find the read. And the reads have been difficult for Blue to handle. Spicy salad kid, he had... An absolute ripper of a shot earlier. It's just been a little too much. The Orange team keep him locked in. King Curtis, at least forcing eggs into the respective. And bounces low. MD not going to get there. Spicy Salad Kid races back. Blue will end our Orange, excuse me, will win the game. But GG's give it up for all six players in the robbery. Pop the next players in the queue. Next up, Zealous, Checker, Devexium, Arabon Speds, Asda's Milk, and Squishy's Biggest Fan. This might be the first time that Arabon Speds and Asda's Milk got on the same team, they're brothers. GG's Emilovich, good games. GG's Spicy Salad Kid. I only got three people ready. I have Checker, Squishy's biggest fan, and Asda's Milk ready to go. Erebon Sped's brother trying to get him into the lobby. I'm missing Devexium and Zealous. All right, no Devexium, no Zealous. Replacing those two will be KO7 and Decibel. Once the rebalance happens, go ahead and uh, hit the ready button for me, please, and thank you. Uh, yeah, Trill, all ranks, regions, and platforms are welcome to play. Understand we do whatever server is majority. So if we have majority EU, then we do EU. Majority South America, majority South America. SAM, NA, EU, APAC, MENA, whatever region you're from, put that one in there. U.S. East, U.S. West. All right, Erebon Speds is ready. KO7 is ready. I just need Decibel.
All right, no decibel. Replacing decibel will be Iron Victory. You know the drill, Iron Victory. All right, Iron Victory is ready. We've got four Europe, so we'll go to the EU server for this one. Lobby's up, guys. Let's go. Uh, PC, Trillet. PC. All right, as soon as everyone's in, we'll get our next game going. All right, we've got all six players here. Let's play the game. On blue, we've got uh, Checker, champ one. Arabon Speds, Champ 3, and KO7, Champ 1. On the other side, we have IVG, GC1, Arsenal's biggest fan, GC2, and Asda's Milk Plat 2. Here we go again. This shot put back in. Blue, light, light touch as he pops it up in front of one, but it's turned away. Hard touch down the field. Erebon Spez got the catch. As does Milk will play it hard back into the field. And Orange happy to let that ball roll the whole way back as Arsenal's biggest fan gets bumped off the route. And that ball gets kicked back to the other side of the field for Blue. Hard ball down the way. Erebon Speds denied by Arsenal's biggest fan. He got there in time and a perfect catch as well. This flick is cut off by KO7. Blue will still be looking for a way forward despite the nice try down the way. Arsenal's biggest fan lets it go and the ripper comes off a whiff. KO7 credited on a save as he moves the ball out of the corner towards the midfield. As does Milk takes a wide approach, shoots it high off the board. Rebound comes down for free. No one from blue is there. Arsenal's biggest fan. He got chipped, but he doesn't care. Coming down straight for IVG and barely saved by Checker. Checker barely got that save despite blue playing back on every single one of those touches. They somehow kept the ball out of the net. The challenge there from Arsenal's biggest fan is knocked down and hit hard. IVG, nothing for him. Will be pushed right back. About two minutes into this game. Not too much to scream at. You had a nice save from Arsenal's biggest fan earlier and a loose net. Easy goal for Checker as he slaps it in. No problemo. Oh, Trill, I think that's on me, man. I told you PC. I'm pretty sure it's just Steam or Epic for uh, platform, not PC. That's on me, dude. My bad. Arabon Speds, we dunk that one through. Good catch from Shecker, love the shuffle step. KO7, now, now what's the thought there, KO7? You know to utilize space. You chase him down for a demo, so that's fine. But you had all that space in the midfield, could have taken it. Even had the boost to catch up. 
Now a hard touch for Orange. Arsenal's biggest fan plays it right back to IVG. Nice touch to Azda's Milk. Back to Arsenal's biggest fan. Back to Azda's Milk. Look at him work together with a teammate. Azda's Milk starting to work with his team a little bit more with each passing game. And driving through the touch. Back to IVG, but will not go in for Orange. You miss Slen in BVO. Arsenal's biggest fan going to push it in. Of course, as soon as I address a Twitch comment, a goal is scored. As does Milk is the one to set it up, though. Checker, an ill-advised touch. Not the one he wanted, no doubt. Goes right to the other team and an easy goal for the orange side. But I miss Slen, too. Slen's very busy boy. I believe he's on vacation. Uh, he's, taking, he's taking his girl on a real nice vacation. So when Slen gets back, we'll have to ask him how vacation went. Blue take their game leading goal, though. Erebon Speds knocks it in on the rebound. And the bouncer to ensure that his brother can't get the save. He dunks on his brother. No doubt Erebon Speds doing that in private 1v1 lobbies against his brother. Chat, do you guys think Erebon Speds helps train his little brother up? Or, or is Azizbel doing it all by himself? That's, that's what I want to know. I know Blaze and James like share the same controller. <laughs> Fun fact, whenever you see James or Blaze playing, it's actually both of them holding each side of the controller. Checker popping this up. Back over to Erebon Speds. Nothing more for him. Arsenal's biggest fan. Drill. Whoa, 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 whoa. Orange, slow down. Checker's like, why am I drilling that? Why am I air dribbling the ball upwards when I have no boost? And then he gets bumped out of the corner boost. Got the oh, midfield oh, 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 boost. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No. You said 4v3, bro. You literally just watched him dunk on his brother. Whoa, went, he went full shack on him. KO7. Nice boomer. You know what? The soft touch is beautiful from Asda's Milk. He got it to Arsenal's biggest fan. Moving off the wall. KO7 catch. Denied on the corner. K cannot get it. Insurance will end the game right now if they can get it. Erebon Spets is flying forward. All of Orange flew away. KO7 missed the ball. There's a chance. IVG was expecting the touch, but Erebon Spets let it go. And just so many whiffs in a row, and I, my brain doesn't work anymore. The game is over. GG's. Give it up for all six players in the lobby. Pop on our next six players into the lobby. Your brother does not train you, Mighty Lion. I knew it. I knew it. I know. You want to know why I knew that, Mighty Lion? Because I am the oldest brother in my family. And I would never teach my brother anything. <laughs> I don't want my bro I don't want my little bro to beat me in a video game. Ain't no way. Ain't no way I'm helping you. He said he's got better things to do. He could coach you up a little bit. I would, I would coach my brother. I would coach him like three correct things and then one bad habit that I could punish. I wouldn't be a good older brother if I didn't. We have five players ready for this next lobby. It's J, Chris, Spearly, Ponies Ahoy, and Tom. I just need this male John. This male John, hit the ready button for me, please, and thank you. All right, no, this male John, or just type ready if the ready button isn't working for you, this male John. I don't know, it's just a very awkward name to say each time, this male John. Are you here? All right. Bye-bye. We'll try again in a couple of games. Replacing this male John will be Normie.
Normie, you know what to do when you see the rebalance happen. Do all the button clicks. Thank you, Normie. I'll go ahead and set the lobby up. Lobby's up. Hey, Jehovah, what's up, man? Great to see you. Hope you're having a good day. He says you slowly catch up to champ three and you'll beat him. That's right. That's right, mighty lion. It's EU. Oh, you're right. My bad. All right. Leave that lobby. Leave that lobby. I'm fixing that right now. All right. Lobby's back up. Got four players in the lobby. As soon as everyone's here, we'll go ahead and get gaming. Uh, who are we missing? We got Potato Soup. Uh, I believe Potato Soup is Tom. Spearly, you have to drop. All right, I'll move you down two games. Everyone's hopping out of that lobby. I'm going to drop Spearly here real quick. Replacing Spearly will be Alpha Goldstone. Alpha Goldstone, once you see the rebalance happen in the active match channel, hit the ready button so I know you're there. Once you do, I will create the lobby. Lobby information will be at the top of the active match channel in Discord. If you'd like to check where you are in the queue, keep in mind you can always refer to the next up channel underneath the queue channel. You can also use the command exclamation point QP and that will tell you where, you, where your position is in the queue. I just need Alpha Goldstone slash, uh, it looks like, Ozdera. I need Ozdera to hit that ready button. Remember, if the ready button isn't working for you, you can type anything in the active match channel just to let me know you're there. That's... The only function of the ready button. We'll move Ozdera down. Replacing Ozdera will be Zealous. This is the second time, second try for Zealous. Let me know if you are here, Zealous. And we will go, go, go. Thanks for helping the boss. I appreciate it, dude. What's up, Omni? How you doing, man? Great to see you back. We're big chilling. Last call for Zealous.
No Zealous. Replacing Zealous will be Devexium. Second try for Devexium. Trilly, we gave you the info. What's going on, man? If you follow the instructions in the Start Here channel, it tells you how to get queued up. Sorry you're having so many issues, buddy. What's so hard? What's going on? The boss is trying to help you out in Discord. Let him know what your username is in Discord. The boss seems willing to help you out. So listen to him and he'll help you out. Okay, dude? It's all good. We'll get you there. Uh, looks like no Devexium. Replacing Devexium will be Decibel. I have a feeling Decibel's not here. Typically when he's gone, gone, he's gone. This is our second time trying him. So no Decibel, we'll take him out. If he comes back and was like, was my turn missed, then I'll put him in the next game. Which is usually what I do, as long as you're communicative with me. Adding next, replacing him, the boss. <laughs> Yo, the boss, I'm gonna actually move you down one here. All right, replacing Decibel will be Vadizen, God Killer Mank. And he's here. Thank you for hitting that ready button immediately, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate you, the boss. Thank you for helping, man. Seriously. All right. Let me get this lobby up. Lobby's up. You know, notice like lobby creation is super slow today. Did you get moved down? I'll move you into the next game, Decibel. <laughs> I literally said, watch him come back. I do remember you, Emilovich. I'm glad you came back. I'm pretty sure I said glad to have you back uh, when it started. Glad you could drop by again. Were you here in Jorbit era or Jorbot era or not? I don't remember. I do remember your name, though. No, you're good, Decibel. It's all good, dude. All right, we're just waiting on uh, Vadizen, and then we're good to go. It does take him a minute, though, so don't panic. It's everyone's favorite RLCS this season. Oh, you guys know me. Until someone steals me away for good, I'm Furia. Furia number one. Thank you, the boss. I appreciate you, man. Thanks for helping him out. Oxygen and TSM. You're it. You're so in on TSM now. Beautiful. Become an LG fan? Nah. That's okay. All right. We got all six players in the lobby. Let's play some games. Idjit J. GC1. Potato Soup. Champ 2. And Pony Diamond 1. I'll be casting Dig Next Split. I'll, I'm hoping. I'm hoping so. No guarantees. On the orange side, we got Normie Champ 3. Chris. GC1 and Vaddy's in. Oh, Vaddy's in. Diamond one, and it's off the post. It's a. Oh, oh my gosh. Is 
I can assure you, he plays on his own. Why do you have to assure me? That, that only looks bad on you, Arabia Pogger. Nice goal from Potato Soup. He drops this one into the bucket. No one back in net. And hey, it looks like we can hit open nets in our blue versus orange lobbies. There we go. No problemo. You know what I'd really what I'd really like is to lock down something long term with an orb. I feel like I feel like I could do luminosity, but better. The touch over to the side. <laughs> All the credit in the world to Corellian Space Man. They put on an entertaining show, but just toot my own horn here. You always been a G2 fan, Omni? That's always fair. Like G2 the Org? Or were you like version 1 fan into G2 fan? That one's a bouncer into the net. Potato Soup will make sure it goes in as Orange tried to chase it down. What happened to here? Oh, a demo on the back end. And an aggressive challenge from second man turned last man. He said you like being better than him. I know, dude. Older brother syndrome. I get it. I get it. When I was a kid, I did everything to make sure that... Uh, or I, I tried to find every trick in the book to convince my brother that... No, no, no. I'm going to hold on to the controller a little longer. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, that one doesn't count. It's not your turn yet. And then there would be some games we would play together, but... Chris denied here on the challenge. Controller Normie light touch. Got ooh, good follow up. Poor Vadison. Feeling a little awkward there. Your brother used to hand you the controller while it was unplugged. That's classic. That's the classic strat. Unfortunately, once you get to a certain age, that doesn't work anymore. And then your brother goes and complains to your parents. And then your parents come into your room and they yell at you. You're like, you need to play with your brother. And you're like, no. He's like, if you don't play with your brother, I'm taking away your Sega. And I'm like, all I can play with him is Mortal Kombat. The Sega Genesis did not have many two-player games outside of, like, fighting games. You're the older brother. You're the best older brother. Do you help your brother? Do you like playing video games with your brother, Decibel? Comes off the wall. Chris forced it through on the 50-50. Oh, shot just a little high. Potato soup underneath. Idja J will be last back and rotate back. Said absolutely you carry him in Rocket League and he carries you in Valorant. Look at that. That's a symbiotic relationship between siblings right there. You love that. You got the FPS goat. You got the mechanical goat. And you've got a bunch of sheep. Hitting the ball on the wall. Nobody hitting it to the net on the blue side. But they are up by two. Push down. You got him to join marching band and got his friends. And now he's a band nerd like you. Hilarious. You love the HUD? Yo, soft lasagna lover. Thank you so much. That's an incredible name. I, too, love some soft lasagna. Boom, downfield. Pony! Ride the Pony Express the whole way to the back of the net. Chris could not keep that ball locked in. It's an easy clear down the field into the net. That's a beautiful shot from Pony. 108 kilometers per hour. Right on, Cowboy. I also used to do marching bands. I used to play the tuba. I was one of only two tuba players. Uh, and then after the ninth grade, or was it 10th grade? I think it was after 10th grade. Uh, I quit marching bands. I quit everything. So I used to play football in middle school and my freshman year of high school. And then I just didn't show up to summer training camp for football the next season. I was supposed to sign up because I was playing Guild Wars 1. That was the day I played Guild Wars 1 for 10 hours. <laughs> Which is like the longest, still I think the longest gaming session I've ever had. Besides maybe some uh, Guild Wars 2 little land get-togethers that me and my friends would have post high school. Yo, Kijio, great to have you back, man. Welcome back to the full potato soup. 
you. <gasps> I'm surprised he did not score that. You played Tuba as well. Let's go, T. Let's go. That's what I'm saying, T. Lou. Look, man. Tuba players, they're a rarer group than bronzes or SSLs. All right. There ain't that many Tuba players out there. Many people that say that they have played the Tuba. Nice touch. That one goes across. Blue team will win the game. GG's. Give it up for all six players in the lobby. <laughs> See, and that's the funny thing, T. Lou, is that if you did play the tuba, you know, or and you lasted more than a single session playing the tuba, you were probably pretty dang good at the instrument. Uh, the few, but the proud, 100%. All right, we're going to pop the next six players in the queue. You're a drummer, but never got involved in band. I always wanted to learn how to play the drums, but never had the space growing up uh, or, like, you know, a place where I could do it that wouldn't annoy the ever-loving crap out of my parents. Then my little brother became a drummer. Uh, but he never had a... Uh, he did actually have a drum set in the house. You played cello, then drumline, then alto sax. You were all over the place. You were a brass captain. Your tuba section was your favorite. Yeah, dude, we're just a bunch of goofballs. You have to be a bit of a goofball to, hu to lug that thing around. Dude, my shoulder never hurt more in my life marching with a tuba I have five players ready for this next lobby I am just missing random 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 hit the ready button for me please and thank you marching tenor drums is worse oh no decibel I believe you I watched the drum line because they were right behind me those guys are in pain at the end of a, of a parade in li just absolute pain. Those were interesting days. All right. Random, random, not hitting the ready button. We'll go ahead and remove him. We'll try him again in a, a couple of games. I know he's new, so we'll try him again. Well, being new isn't a requirement to be tried again. But you know what I mean? Adding next. This male John, this is your second chance. You have back problems at 19. Decibel, you should do some back lifts. No joke. Do some rows. Do some like dumbbell pull uh pullbacks. I'm telling you, that's gonna help. We got uh, who replaced? Yeah, this male John. Last call for this male John. Yeah, especially at 19, you just need you just need to strengthen your back muscles a little bit more, and then that should go away. All right, no, this male John. We'll take him out. Replacing this male John will be Spearly. Spearly, have you updated your game? Are you ready to go? All right, soft lasagna, love. Thanks for hanging out, dude. What is that? Oh, what was that under the time? Those were just uh, the game win percentage between blue and orange. I didn't see that message earlier. My bad. All right, let's create the lobby. Everyone's ready. Lobby's up. Uh, random, I moved you down a couple of games. I can move you up to the next game now that I know you're here. But you literally just missed the queue. Uh, when I pop you, there will be an active match channel in Discord. And you just have to hit the ready button there, and that's going to have all the match information that you need. 
So I put you in the 12th spot in the queue. I will move you uh, into the next game. Same for you, this male John. You guys were absent in the active match channel. You have to let me know you're there uh, before I create the lobby. So I will go ahead. Let me adjust those two things real quick. First, we'll add this male John back to the queue for the next game. And then first I got to remove random random. And then I got to re-add him. There you go. You guys should now be in the fourth and fifth spot in the queue. All six players are here. Let's go ahead and get playing. On blue, we've got Saigo, Champ 2, Mr. Lowell 5000, Champ 3, and the boss, GC1. On the other side, we have Decibel, GC2, Powerful Lord, GC2, and Spear, Diamond 2. So you got a heavy GC loaded side on orange with a diamond. And then a mid champ, high champ, and low GC on blue. So blue are a little closer in rank. Will that benefit them? Or will the more front loaded decibel powerful Lord duo with spear bringing up the rear be a little too much to handle? Look at powerful Lord, Lord dicing them. Decibel sitting close. And will be popped up. No, it's all good, this male John. Like I said, we'll get you next game. And bounce low off the ramp. Remember, at any point, you can check where you are in the queue using exclamation point QP or checking the next up channel, which is right below the queue channel in Discord. Every time I pop the queue, it moves six players forward, so you can do the math. Mr. Lull 5000 drops the ball in easy. The tip-in goal for Blue to start the game. The boss makes a nice move in the midfield to beat that first defender. And Spear is left helpless trying to defend Mr. Lowell's shot. Oh, wow. That shot from Saigo wasn't going to go in, but the boss will collect the payment for him. Saigo, beautiful attempt on the double. Powerful Lord stuffed him. Didn't matter though, it goes right back in. You don't understand 1v1. You were 1080, went up to 1220, and fell back down to 1120 all in two days. That You literally just described the rank grind, man. That's how it goes. You don't know what the difference was in your play style? Probably just inconsistent in execution. Maybe a little bit of skill variance. It's hard to say. The boss puts another one in, and Orange are turn tail running. Decibel got deleted on the play. The boss wave dashing to catch back up to it after the demo. Mr. Wool making sure second man can't get there in time. Uh, but 1080 to 1220 is a back to 1120 is very natural in 1v1. You move up the one v you move up with wins very quickly in ones compared to every other playlist. Same with losses. Oh, that one was nobody's fault. Mr. Lol couldn't hang on to it. He's sad that they couldn't hang on to it. They tried to get the rule one. The boss almost scores again, and that would have been lethal decibel. Holding down that back line will not let that go down for nothing. Challenge for powerful Lord. Can't get there, but he pushes blue off the play. Spear with a first heavy touch. And the drop down, not going to find it. That's almost a goal. Powerful Lord slaps it. My guess is Horizon is it's a mix of your own inconsistencies as a player, but also running into true ranked one, or true ones grinders when you got to that 1220 mark. Especially GC in ones. Most people at that level are full-on sweat 1v1ers. I know that there are some that might just queue at the warm-up. Very good, but lots of reasons why. The, the best way to answer your question is to save the replay and watch back. Are you protecting the ball? Did you over-rotate? Is he hitting the ball over your head? 
Are your challenge is your challenge game weak? Why is your challenge game weak? Are you giving him too much space? Could you have challenged the ball earlier than you did before? How do you know when to challenge? Lots of lots of questions to ask yourself in one v one. But a lot of questions can be answered by watching your own tape back. Keanu says he cues it just to go for quad resets the whole time. This will all 5,000 Kachow straight into the net. And is a little surprised as he's off the ceiling. Pre-jump from the boss. Oh, baby. Right into his face. I think when you win, you have equal amounts of goals and saves. That's irrelevant. I don't think that has anything to do with whether you're struggling or not. When you lose, you have more shots than normal. And it's just not enough information. It's more so why are shots, why are why are they why are they generating more shots? Does that just mean you're missing the net more? Which would point to the inconsistency problem again, right? Lots of reasons. That one coming across orange will start the scoring, albeit a bit late. But hey, late's better than never. Decibel serves it up to him. Powerful Lord knocks it into the top shelf. And we'll see if Orange can worm their way back into this series. Uh, well, Trill, both uh, in 1v1, usually your 1v1 rank is a full tier below. Oh, that's unfortunate, Orange. That's quite unfortunate. Nice demo, powerful Lord, but unfortunately your teammate got demoed. And Blue off the post, off the post, into the net. Saigoat scores another. And I'll let this one roll out in the last 29 seconds. Uh, but 1v1 is usually a full tier below whatever your 2s and 3s ranks are. So, you know, if you're GC in the other play in twos and threes, then you're typically champ in 1v1, so on and so forth. It's not true for all players. There are some players who have the same rank across all playlists. But it's more common, I've noticed, to have your 1v1 rank be a full tier down, even if you play the game a lot. And again, as always, I always say, if you want to get better at the game, play 1v1 I truly think it's the best mode for improvement despite what some pros might say about rank twos GG's give it up for all six players in the lobby as always guys thank you so much for queuing up I also don't really agree that playing twos gives like teaches you threes I saw this conversation going on yesterday, and, and I just don't agree. It's a very smart people are on the other side of that fence. Uh, but, and I understand the argument that twos gives you a little more breathing room for mechanics and helps you play with like a singular teammate, but I think it's more likely to create bad habits than it creates good ones. Whereas in 1v1, you're forced to really think at every step. Twos is absolutely brainless. And I stand by that. I think twos is a completely brainless mode. And I think the only reason pros queue it is because you get queues faster in 2v2. I think that's the only reason. But you can turn your brain off and just go for clips. Instead of actually having to think because you'll get frustrated. And God knows you can't get frustrated trying to get better at the game. But I do not think rank twos is the place to find all of your best talent. I don't think grinding that mode makes sense for pro play at all. But but people will swear people will swear uh, by it. But I don't think I don't think it's for the reasons that they tout it all. I don't I don't I don't buy this. Oh, you get a little more space to actually use mechs, and you have to play with a teammate and make decisions. And it's like you have to do all of that in one v one. And 1v1, you have to do it all. And it highlights all of your mistakes, all of your inefficiencies. Playing, playing rank twos just gives you a freebie 
lets you just play lets you just play mechs and just mess up uh and get scored on for free or and you don't get scored on for free because you got a teammate there whereas in threes you need active thought to actually win the game and in ones you need active thought 100 percent focus to win the game twos is twos is the brainless mode in rocket league I do agree that the only way to learn pro threes is to play in pro scrims. I agree with that. But I don't I don't I don't think twos does anything for you. Does anything that 1v1 doesn't do for you. The only difference between twos and ones is ones is more frustrating because you get punished. In twos you don't get punished. All right, we got 1 2 3 4 5 players ready. I need uh, Osdirk, or Osdera. Last call for Osdera. That's because I haven't created the lobby random. The lobby doesn't go up until I get all six players. All right, no Osdera. Replacing Osdera will be... Horizon, Horizon, you're up. Once you see the rebalance, hit that ready button for me in the active match channel and Discord, and we'll get going. Twos is an easier path to get noticed. Yeah, I mean... That might that might be true. But as a result, like you get noticed in what you get skipped over because everyone just calls you a rank grinder. <laughs> the only way you truly get noticed is when you start beating people in tourney. Pros don't like it when you beat them in rank, though. The smart ones like it. All right, I think we got all six players ready to go. Let's go ahead and create the lobby. Lobby's up. Let's go. Let's play some games. Ones are boring. Well, we just disagree on that point. I think ones is... Extremely entertaining. Ones reminds me of like S Smash Bros. Melee Final Destination. That's the energy I get from uh, from 1v1. All right, just waiting for everyone else to get into the lobby. This male John has made it. Horizon has made it. And Scope Killer has made it. Perfect. Let's go ahead and play some games. Whoops. On blue, we've got Apex GC2. Random random brand new to blue versus orange at plat one. And Monarch Diamond 2. On the other side, this male John, Diamond 1. Horizon GC2. And Scope Killer Diamond 1. Horizon also brand new to blue versus orange. So we got two newbies with us. Hope you guys enjoy yourself. In blue versus orange. We got high card GC2 on both sides. And low card diamond one on orange. Low card plat one on the blue side. So let's see how it goes. This male John flying forward, but no contact. It's blue. Back to the midfield line. This male John goes out of the rotation. Got to be careful with that rotation. 
Rotating same side of the ball will make it difficult for your team to read the play, thinking you're going to cut. So if you do rotate same side, you better cut. Yeah, you know what, Trill? That's fair. If you're trying to play for fun, you know, don't play once. Nice touch for Apex. And he at least followed it up. Horizon tried to dunk him on the play. Ismail John just getting to the challenge. Apex up high. Off the wall. Horizon slaps it back. Monarch has to buy time, and he does. His teammate gets deleted. And it's a high bounce, but he's got a full tank. Ismail John lets it loose. Monarch low. And didn't have his flip. Hard touch for Apex, shot too light and wide. Just couldn't get the timing, couldn't get his nose square on the ball. Ooh, cheeky little chip touch there from this male John. And pinched right back down to the blue half by Scope Killer. Oh, the pop pass, Horizon wasn't completely ready for it. This male John apologizing, but I love the idea. Apex gets right over the last defender into the net. Apex will get the first goal of the game. Scope Killer, you see him turn up to go for the challenge, and he's got to be playing net side there. Both of his teammates done on the play. He's uh, Apex can see him the whole way. It's not as bad to challenge the ball if the guy on the ball can't see you, but if the guy on the ball sees you fl uh, fly in from the left side, especially the GC on the ball, he's going to know exactly what to do to get that ball over you. Also, being a little behind on the play, will make taking the aggressive challenge more difficult. It's not always a bad idea to take the aggressive challenge as third man on defense. But sometimes you just got to go net side. Good save from Monarch. I love the position of his car there. Killed it out to the corner. Scope killer got the bump. Random, random. Able to move that out through this male John. Apex dunks him. And Horizon getting back. I don't even... How did he demo him? It did not look like Horizon was going supersonic. I'm very confused. Chat, did you see that? Oh, no. Orange have bumped into each other. Horizon. It was all a fake. A ruse. The team bump was a ploy. And the thieves run away in the lick of night. The bump. Forces random random to go to the opposite side. Apex sees a whole heap of lead hit his side. And an easy goal. The team bumps come to fruition. Monarch learning on the other side that, oh, that's what my team was trying to do the other day when they were bumping me. Hey, hey. They cleared down the field. Monarch tried to get in front of it. And what? The, is that in? Horizon. My God. Hold the chips. And give me some sauce. Horizon gets the full catch up on this. That's disgusting. Oh my. Welcome to Blue versus Orange. Orange have a lead out of nowhere. Bruh. High ball. Random, random. A little awkward. Low bouncer. Apex gets there in time. Apex barely catches it, and this male John was waiting for it. Monarch, a light tip down. Scope kill it. Gets across to the opposite side. Quick attack, but Apex is there on the quicker defense. And a clear out downfield. He won't have a teammate to support him. That means this male John goes up the wall. Neutral hop to stabilize. Not a bad try there. Just a heavy touch. And Blue were ready for it on the 50. Rebound. Not able to get it. It was random, random. Horizon still going, but Apex pre-flip into the next save. He goes around the world again. Monarch sees he's got space. Light touch to begin. Gets through one. Forces Scope Killer for the clear. Random Random steals the boost. Freezes the orange defense. Apex coming in. The aggressive push for blue on this rotation. They'd love for it to pay off. Apex leaving deep into the corner. Well, maybe a teammate was going to rotate in on that, but random, random only sees his teammate back, so he's going to rotate back into the play, or back uh, into net, which is fine for random, random, especially as a plat one. Nope. Not used to seeing those types of rotations, and he does his job here. Bought a little bit of time. Monarch going wide. Everyone going wide. Monarch and Apex. Blue have to make sure they're covering the middle of the field. Ten seconds. They need a clear. This one might be the one. Scope killer. Not going to get a good grab on it. Horizon turning around. But there is Apex going for the broke. Monarch.
Baylor can't get there. It's over. GG's. Give it up for all six players in the lobby. Top of the next players in the queue. All right, everyone hitting the ready button. We got five players ready. I see Wayfair, Sith, Dark251, Burst, Mimi, Auturks. I just need coffee, junior coffee. Hello. Last call for junior coffee, or we're moving on. No worries, Sith. We're going to have to uh, rotate through. Go get your bathroom break right now. All right. No junior coffee. Replacing him will be Chucky Brown. Chucky Brown, get on in here. Never played in a high player lobby like that. The ball is going everywhere. I hope you had a good time, random, random. It was a close one. You had a couple good plays in there. I like that uh, boost steal you had when you guys were pushing on offense. Good decision. You knew you were losing the ball. So you decided to play the boost instead. All right, Chucky Brown, we're going to move you down one game again. All right, we got Junior Coffee back in here. Let me see that ready button from him one last time. Sorry about that, Coffee. That was fun. You do it again next week. Awesome, Horizon. Glad you had a good time, dude. That makes me happy. Great shot earlier, dude. All right, Coffee's ready. Sith is back. Let's go ahead and create the lobby. Lobby's up. How's that preset? I'll be honest, man. I totally forget what it was. <laughs> I remember looking at the car and I liked the I liked what I saw from the decal. I just didn't I didn't pay too close attention to it. Under, we're not. We don't got all six players here yet. Sith's game crash. No worries, Sith. We'll wait for you. Inspiration from Eekso. I see. I see. Very nice. All right, we got all six players here. Let's go ahead and play the game on blue. We've got Dark251 Burst, 
Champ 3, Autarch GC1, Mimi Diamond 1. On the other side, Lugus Diamond 3, Coffee Diamond 3, and Sith GC3. So we welcome Sith back. Glad to see you back. Dark 251 with the first touch and comes right back out to the midfield line. Mimi King gets dunked on the play. And pull back out. You and Turtle called that series BDS versus Quadrant in fall split, and that preset caught my eye. Oh, I see. I see. Wasn't that like a sweep or something? Or did BDS almost choke that? I don't remember. <laughs> Fall 22-23 feels like forever ago. What a shot. Turned away. I guess it was about a year and a half ago now. Kind of crazy. Ooh, Sith. Pre-flip. Air dribble. Reset. <gasps> oh, he's a god. Oh, who cares about Jedi when you can bring the passion? Oh, why not be a Sith Lord in a new life? Look at Sith go dropping down on the reset, dropping it through Dark 251, slicing and dicing like a pro. Oh my. Oh my. LJ oh, Volteri, thank you for those subs, man. I really appreciate it. Roadkill, yellow, pink, lime, and pink. I see, I see. 4 3 quadrant and quarters. Oh, online. You talking about online. Got you, got you. Yeah, that was a dirty shot from Sith, to be sure. Hey, y'all. Coffee couldn't get that touch. Came across it. Blue need to find a way to respond. Maybe with just some textbook plays. Dark 251, maybe off the ceiling, but a catch from Sith. Yeah, he's going to need to work a little harder. Sith getting through two. Dark 251 rotates right back. Catch from Sith. Drop off the coffee, and it's slapped. Going way back as Sith pops it up over one, but not going to get much more on it. Pass to coffee. Light pass to Sith. Sith, a chip. Sith saved by Dark 251. Sith is looking lethal on the ball today. Junior Coffee, nice turn onto the ball. Took it away from Dark 251, who took away your boost, but Sith has a run away and he gets deleted. That's the best way to deal with a problem. Is to squash it like a bug. Dark 251, can't keep it going. Sith on the respawn has it. Lucas lurking a little too far forward there. Dark 251 gets the game tying goal. So looking at Lucas here, I don't like the turn. I think he's expecting third man to be behind him, but he's not aware that third man was still rotating back from the opponent's corner. The Lugas, he turns, but he's got to look before he decides to turn up field again. He could have easily made the save. We'll pick up a demo, try to get back to this ball. Uh-oh, blue are coming. Oh, a good try from Dark 251. And great job from coffee not giving him the space to breathe or think about it two minutes whifty whifty breaks out sith trying to play that low ground game but blue keep on challenging him immediately and it's making his life difficult for your resident sith lord just has to channel a little bit of lightning and he'll get it going well there he goes he used force push but he might need grip to hold on to that ball Hard touch. Went to the light touch. Now, Coffee threw the ball away there. A little panicked right now if you're Junior Coffee. Just got to relax. The caffeine makes you want to go, go, go. Don't let it control you, though. Take that shot. Lobber, and it's off the board. Dark 251 has the rebound. Still tied up. Put up high. Sith off the wall, off the, on the ground. Coffee coming forward to take the challenge. He's a little late. Lucas staying with it. Doesn't get bumped. Auturks turning around on the ball, and Sith has the flick. Dark 251 burst. Not to be put out just yet. Now, lucky for Blue, Sith has not found a way to get back to the air yet. If he does, they better hope they have the resources to challenge him. 
Nice from Otterx. Good bump as well on the follow-up. Neutralizing Sip in the midfield. Coffee hoping for Lucas. Lucas just a little slow on the turn, but it was a heavy touch as well. Blue got on top of it. Easy save for Coffee. He's looking for Sip. Sip looking for net, and the board's covered, but it comes out for free, and he gets deleted. Lucas only by a little bit of time. Speaking of time, it's pretty thin. About 10 seconds left on the clock, off the ramp. Sith denied, too committed though. The net is wide open and no one from Orange is there, but they keep on missing the ball. Coffee, not gonna get it. Somehow Blue keep the door shut despite it flying off of its hinges. And we've got overtime. Our eighth overtime of the day. Challenge gets knocked back out over to the wall. Big clear down the field. Sith will chase it. Can't get much out of it though, can he? They're downfield. Blue, get away with it. Dark 2-5-1 bursts his way through the net. He goes through the rotation, completely fell apart from the orange side. And it's a free goal and a free game for Blue. Give it up for all six players in the lobby. Let's pop our next six players in the queue. All right, our next six players, Costa Galaxy, Z-Sad, Lil Mello, Chucky Brown, Esperto, Exonym. Hit the ready button for me, please, and thank you. All right, Lucas, sounds good, man. I appreciate you queuing up, though. Thanks for hanging out. I have four players here. I need Esperto, Lil Mello, and Z, nope, not Z Sad. I need Esperto and Lil Mello. He had some sort of magic to deal with Sith like that. It was dark magic. All right, Asperdo gone. Little Mellow gone. Replacing those two will be Phoenix or Phoenix and KO7. You guys are our next two. Hit that ready button for me, please, and thank you, and we'll get the lobby set up and going. 